Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy to be here for an all-day Sunday stream. Show number 2845 here on Twitch and the continuation of our FTL hacking challenge starting with Zoltan A. This is the 8th of 28 ships. Hope you're all having a nice one. What's up, Dopefish, Bratwurst, Prixie, Ella, Ron, and Cats. Hey there, Sinvicta, Funky, Gornilla, Tharson, Dave. What's up, Bad Micro? Good to see y'all. All right, feel free to throw out some name suggestions for this fine, very green vessel. Going to grab some names for our crew here off the forever name and game list, and we'll take it from there. All right, where were we? I did that. You're on defamatory. Machine Gun Contra or MGC. MGC it is. And Zephyrnaut. Let's differentiate here a bit too. Good. Well, some really nice suggestions here. That's tough. Let's uh, combine a couple. We'll do the pesto reactor. All right, and we're off. If you're new to FTL, it's a roguelike game of space exploration. Our goals work our way through eight different sectors of randomly generated space on the way to a three-phase flagship fight. Uh, this map right here represents one sector along our journey we're going to collect this value right here scrapped upgrade our ship systems subsystems purchase new systems uh, so on and so forth zoltan a has a very nice start but it needs to find a weapon escalation of a pretty major way by sector three or four at latest so it does have some complications and we're off Right? So the halberd beam is very powerful, and the five healing that you have at the start is a very good deal. Not all ships, but most ships in the first two sectors are going to be pretty easy on Zoltan A. I'd say probably about 80% of ships on Zoltan A are going to be little to no complication. But that changes in Sector 3, big time. Okay, um, this is not great. Gonna run him over to shields then. Zoltan shields down, I'll do that. Okay, so here I'm going to do this. Oh no, dude, really? That's not good. Alright, we're going to swap to the Lado here. And if I don't take down the... Drone, we're in trouble here. I should be able to take down the drone and then load up the halberd beam. Find out. Okay, did not take down the drone. These work. Oh man. Okay, we got a breach too, at least. Shield's down though. Let's go ahead and fix that up. Okay, I got fire going on in here as well. Okay, we're just going to keep that down for now. Okay, I'm going to drop a power here. I'm going to go back into this. Okay, 
have extra power too. Let's go here. I'm gonna fire one more Lado out. And then we're gonna power the Albert. Well, it could have been a lot worse. Hey, Malta, thanks for 48 months. Appreciate that. Okay. Ooh, six fuel, six missiles, nine scrap. I'm actually going to take this deal because we get our missiles back. Sure. Yoinks. Yeah, good morning, McQueep. Hope you're having a nice one. That was a great deal. Not a great fight, but a great deal. I think uh, possibly landing the Lado in weapons first would have resulted in a little bit less damage, but on that same note, I wouldn't have gotten the kill very fast, so a trade-off there. Okay, fire drone laser, that's not too dangerous. Hey, Krause, hope you have a nice one too. What's up, Wolf Dikowski? So many cool people here this morning. It's a very easy achievement to get. It's just kill a ship while the Zoltan shield is still active. Hmm. This might go down here. I still got some time. I could also skip the this last nebula jump because if we're looking at the exit here, we're not gaining anything by taking this nebula. Okay, these don't really connect properly, so I do need to go to the exit from here. So let's go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Looks pretty good. Actually, 10 is exactly it, so... Hmm. Alright, let's just follow this path down. Okay, no store here, that's good. Trying to get away, it actually could get away here. Okay, we gotta start this side. Actually, hold on here. No, we don't. We're gonna start on this side so we hit engines and piloting after the shields get hit, and I'm gonna run the pilot down to the shield room. Because now I can drop my O2 and go here, and we will never take damage on this fight. Okay, enemy FTL charging indeed. Okay, weapons are not hit. Good. I think I gotta start over here. Let's see if they're getting away or not. Okay, if they're not getting away, I'm gonna go through shields first here. Having two Zoltans in the shield room means that they cannot ion damage down this bubble. 
Some actually very complicated ships here to start off our Zoltan A run. Intervene and defend the outpost. We're going to halberd like this, going through shields first for the best chance at a good weapons hit. The ship definitely could damage us, but if we take down one weapon, it should be okay. Especially if the shield goes down, which I think it will with this, they have three power and weapons. Yep. We good. Yo, main gun, thanks for 25 months. Appreciate that continuation very much. Thanks a lot. Well, let's take one more jump and see if there's a store. If there's not a store here, probably gonna buy the Lado missile online. It's usually a good purchase. May regret not having that right now. May want to swap to the Lado missile here. Okay, the burst laser went down, which is good. Human in the sensors, let's just vent this. Oh, I didn't vent it. Okay, he's probably gonna get my sensors then. It's tough. Debating starting on shields here, going this way. I think that'll actually stop the repair on the weapons. Let's do that. Or just get the kill, not two. Six fuel, 20 scrap, no. By the power for the Lado. Helps in those uh, worst case scenarios. So this might be one of them. Okay, this isn't too bad. Definitely want that beam drone down though. Good. Gonna let my O2 fully stabilize here. I think I'm gonna include this jump by going one, two, three, four, five. We know there's not a store down here, and this could be a store, so let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I actually think that the missiles are more valuable right now. Three drum parts sounds good. Let's 
Should also say if I was doing a run where I was planning on getting hacking that the drum parts would have a much higher value. Let's see how this halberd does. Wow, really? Okay. I really expected the shields to go down there. We're going to get to 100% O2 now. There's our store. Cool. At least we found one here in Sector 1. Good enough. All right, data stores, let's go. Get a little map reveal on the three jumps remaining. Cool. Fight the ship. All right, defense two is definitely complicated, but I can go from the shield room all the way to drones here. That's exactly how I'm going to do it. Actually, maybe I pass on the drones all together. Maybe get the five room hit here. Do that. As long as one weapon's down, we're safe here. Which is the goal. Can't block a beam. Seven missiles, man. Bring us to 26 missiles. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to pass, though. Yeah, 18 scraps a lot nicer. All right, long-range scanners are here. Uh, also, mind control. Okay. Let's play long-range scanners, mind control, and then go for two shields and maybe get some crew kills with that. Looks good. Delaying the two shield purchase for these upgrades, but I think that's worth it. Definitely need a power bar, which I'll just put here now. Oh, we're going to be a hero and attack the pirate, though. Right now, we kind of need a ship that can't damage us in order to use mind control properly. And that's okay. This isn't that ship, though. This ship can be a crew kill in a good situation. Okay, that's a, also an Artemis missile. No, thank you. No, thank you. No. Another great offer, but this is a potential double reward. Not having it. Let me run up here and see what happened. Yeah, 
no crew kill happening here. We did just pick up long range scanners, so Uncharted Nebula does not look undesirable, but civilian sector probably has the best rewards. Let's go Uncharted Nebula here. Try to get the most out of this long range scanner pickup. Alright, Ion Storm leaves us with how much? Got six power. Oof. Still six. Yo, Reborn, thanks for making it official with Prime. Thank you so much. Hope you'll be the Emotes community and ad-free viewing. Very happy to have you. Thanks a lot. Okay, this one has medbay. Um, let's run the engine guy to shields. Uncharted Nebula also counteracts our uh, mind control pickup here, and that's all right. A lot of O2 situations on this run. Very interesting. Alright, before we jump into like uh, an empty nebula here with an ion storm, I think it's really important that I grab level 2 piloting. Losing a crew on this ship's really tough. I guess it's only a 25% chance. I might go for it here. I'd really prefer to get two shields online and get mind control access. Oh, Marshmallow, thanks so much for 100 months of support. Triple digits. So glad you could make it to the show today. Thank you for that 100. Let's give it a risk here. The worst happens, we lose it. Okay, prepare to fight's fine. Okay, beam drone. Heavy laser is pretty intense. We have no engines here either. And good news, though, once the first pass of the halberd happens, we're going to be safe. One hundy. Awesome. Thank you, Marshmallow. One hundy. Enjoy that lurk. Another fight where our O2's down. Spicy.
I mean, I think I go back here and then over. Oh, there is no over. So this is all unconnected. Wow. Okay, so maybe not like a huge dive opportunity here, but I can pick up basically all of these and then hit the exit here. Very interesting sector layout. Uh, had I seen that, I probably would have included this jump first, but no harm done. We'll just run in the med bay and make this easy. That is true, a store here. Okay, so this connects over as well. Is there anything I can even buy for 45 scrap right now? Not really. Tough but fair. Yeah, I think I gotta pass on the store here. Am I gonna buy two piloting now to get this? It's gonna probably almost certainly gonna be the manly search the wreckage event since it's the second empty ion. If we're not going to a store right now, I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna buy two piloting. This protects against the manually search the wreckage event. There it is. Ooh, we just picked up a slug. You kidding me right now? That's good. Let's get Mara a new name. This activates our mind control in every situation without needing the sensors. Easily the best crew we could have got right now. Easily. This is Robotic Crow. Big find there. I'm just gonna ride this line down, come around, and then pick up whatever I can back here. Yeah, getting the Zoltan off piloting does activate his power too. It is a, a very big thing for this ship. Long range scanner, boom, paying off. They got combat drone and they have that. That's rough, dude. So, oh, maybe a crew kill here, but nah. I think I'm gonna Lado the drones here. Ooh. 
Okay, combat drone mark one and 17 scrap. I'm gonna take this because that's 17 plus the 25 cell value of the combat drone. So, awesome. Thanks for the offer. Okay, I'm, I'm also going to buy two shields now. I don't really intend on powering them, but there's going to be some cases where I can use mind control and two shields to get crew kills. Could at least be one or two of those remaining in the game. Okay, they're boarding with the engineer. What the happen? Oh, they're not boarding because the shield's up, right? Okay, we're definitely gonna go from here to here. That's good. Wonder if there's another mind control kill to get here. Probably not with him repairing here. Yeah, we're gonna finish this one off. They didn't have a missile launcher, then yes. But they did. I think if I skip this jump, I can include one of these. I'm not entirely sure though. So we got one, two, three, four, four point eight, I guess. This is eight. Now one, two, three, four, and then here allows this jump before diving to the exit, or just going to the exit. Can also go one, two, three, four, five here and still make this jump. I think I'll do that. Rebel Fleet Pursuit inside Nebulas is 80%, so for every five jumps you take, it's technically four jumps, so that'd put us here, and then this would put us here. Right, Med Bay makes it complicated to get crew kill here. I'm gonna fire Lado out actually. Go. Alright, keeps them occupied at least. Long range scanner? Okay, no, no crew there, but it's still worth the look. There won't be a next time. Open fire. Okay, finally a ship where I can get a potential crew kill. Hmm, how do I do this? start by going here to make it safe. They didn't have a med bay, this would be a lot easier. I still think it might be possible, though. 
We'll see. Kind of depends on where this Manus board's at. Good spot. Actually go here. Let him in. Three on one, we'll get the job done. Okay. Okay, that's good. You know, it's only level one med base, so... Should be adequate. As soon as this repairs, I'll halber beam through only this room. Okay, use this for O2 now. Yo, Coda, thanks for 64 months. Appreciate that Prime continuation. Thanks a lot. Gustavo Pisa, thanks so much for four months as well. Sorry for missing you earlier. Truth be told, I'm still waking up today. Okay, he didn't actually repair that? What the hell? Got a breach there as well. Good. I want to see what his health sat. Okay, good. Got him. Five fuel, 19 scrap. Could have used a halberd there too. It's a little scary. No thanks. Ooh, I mean, we're heading into the sector where Lado missiles might be required to damage ships. That's still very tempting. It's a lot of scrap, and if I can transfer out for weapons, that'd be even better. Hmm. I think I'm going to do five here. Okay, and then I'm going to buy these engine power and get ready. Oh, there was no dive here. I didn't need to buy engines. That was a mistake. Fair enough. Pretty nasty weapon system. Glad I purchased engines now. Hey, you too, Gindy. Hope you're having a nice one. Let's mind control the repairer. Okay, I'll live with that. No more missile usage. Not bad dive. Let's go NG controlled for store reasons. We're uh, we're now at desperation point for finding a weapon. 
no stores that sector, one store the previous sector, which had some good stuff, long range scanner and mind control, but no weapon escalation. Yoho Mythic Applesauce, thanks for 68 consecutive months. Cut more for that big 7 0. Thank you. All right, store right away. Let's at least take uh, this jump before the store so we get in weapon range. Storage cache, I like to see that. Don't like to see his two shields missile launcher. Okay, to, before our shields go down, we'll do this. So I have to hit them with uh, the Lado missile in order to hit with the halberd here, bottom line. Yo, Penality, thanks for 91 months, and thank you all for this hype train. Much appreciation. Oh, my God, stop missing, dude. Oh, weapons hit as well. That is gnarly. Um, okay, let's go here. Put the O2 back on, I guess. Wow, how many misses that? Four? Five in a row? Shade on your life. Thanks for 16 months as well. Thank you all once again for this hype train. If you choose to share your resub notifications, subscribe, use bits, or gift, got a chance some exclusive emo unlocks as a part of the hype train. It's much appreciation. You could just tell it was coming for weapons again. They're going to be out of missiles soon. Oh, man, you kidding me right now? They're not kidding. Amazing. <laughs> oh, man. Let's drop the O2 real quick. I'm going to run this guy to the med bay. Wow. Wow. I am quite simply impressed right now. What a ship. Hopefully the storage cache is decent. And also hopefully the store has something we need. Alright, we won. 20 and nothing useful. 20 scraps useful. In the store now. Yeah, these are weapons, but not quite the weapons we need. I suppose combat drone could work. For the moment. I might actually have to pick that up. I think that is the case. It's definitely not the store that I, the option I want right now, but uh, this keeps me in the game as far as being able to damage ships, so uh, not too much of a choice there.
This exit's weird. I think I need to take this jump first to make sure I'm having enough room. Yeah, let's do here. Yo, E Caliber, thanks for 28 months. What's up, Zealousy? Great to see you, as always. All right, so here I'm going to load up Combat Drone. I'm going to let it get to the point where it almost fires, and I get to Debating if I should use Leto here as well, probably, because if the shield goes down, I can actually get a hit that will take this down. Let's see here. Okay, good. Hey, 25 scrap in our part back. That's nice. I don't need fuel. Hi, Pin Pin. What are you doing? You good, Pin Pin? Yeah. Can attack the ship here. All right, this ship, if I can get, uh, I guess, a good mind control here, we should be able to get a crew kill. Wow, they're not even going to hit him? That's tough. Um, maybe not a crew kill then? I should have waited till I damaged the weapons to mind control the engineer. That would have resulted in them coming over to help fight. Since he's going to punch this down, though, I may very well get... Um... Okay, so just simply damaging is what did it. I'm going to go here, because now the Manus is repairing. So we should have time now to manufacture this. Took Pin Pin almost a week, but she's checking out the new cat house stuff now. Good for her. Oh, nice. Well, maybe not nice? How much health does this guy have? I think if I do just halberd beams as he repairs here, we should be able to get the kill, I think. Just barely. Yo, hope you all enjoy those emote unlocks associated with the hype train. Just thank you all for your generosity, and most importantly, Thank you for the time you're choosing to spend here watching today. That's where it's at. A little preemptive on my halberd beam there. That's fair. Yo, Yamsies, thanks for 33 months. Three more for three years. Thank you. I believe this next one is the kill. And if it's not, then, well, it's not.
Okay, well... Was he one shot off? He was one shot off. There. Still worth a try. Getting kills with mind control is definitely a place I can improve my FTL play. I don't want to go here instead. No, nah, let's go here. All right, nearby sun. Here it is. All right, two shielder. gonna run him over to drones uh, my shield went down okay get the drone almost to firing but not hanging out in front of that laser please Missile launcher went down. That's good. Five missiles, one drone part, ten scraps. A pretty good deal. I think I'm just going to accept this. Solar flare hasn't gone off yet. Five missile resource at this moment without having a weapon seems really valuable. Accept. Quest marker added to the next sector. Fair. Um, alright. I'm gonna go down here, because the chance is to store at this one at least. One, two, three, four, five, six. for a store at the end here. We reach sector four with this setup. We're in kind of like... Uh, we are in trouble already, I should say. It's a classic problem for Zoltan A to have, not finding weapons. Classic. Alright, if two Zoltans fight each other, I should be able to Lado them down. There's only two crew here. get back to closer to 100%. So we've been in a weird O2 spot this entire run. Also get defamatory healed up here.
But also note if we were not doing this hacking challenge, hacking did appear at the same store we bought Mind Control at, and that would enable our halberd beam to go uh, through Sector 3, Sector 4 quite easily. But we don't have access to that tool. Okay, reactor upgrade for three and two. I'm gonna take this and trading scrap for non-scrap resource. Even though it's resource we're using, it's still not scrap. Search for the ship, found it. Wow, 27 scrap engineer. I'm gonna take this, I think this pays for itself. Get you a name as well, which is gonna be Trevis. Not Trevis, Trevis. Um, I think I go Civi here instead of Nebula just because I really need the store. A better store chance inside Civilian. I think that's where we're at right now. Store, please. Ooh, store, please. Alright, this is a make it or break it store right here. Weapons? No weapons at the store. Okay. That was a huge amount of nebulas here. All right, very quick restroom break for me, then I guess we're going to make the best of this sector. We may end up losing this run not to finding weapons, but uh, there's definitely still a lot of chances, including finding a weapon, to escalate here. And our Lado missile is not quite out of the game yet. Be right back. All right, on that short intermission, I made one decision, and that decision is I'm buying two power bars right now. This way I can load up the combat drone if needed without having a crazy power juggle, because we are here in Sector 4 right now. Four. I'll shield you. Four fuel, 40 scrap for one hull damage. Hell yeah. Hire the mercenary to scout the sector is interesting here because it would give us uh, information on our store. It's pretty expensive and we have to turn down taking a fight to do this though. Hmm. You know, our pathing in this sector is pretty limited anyways. We're going to see most of the jumps I'm fighting this ship. Well, that's a lot of engineer.
Almost fired. Seven missiles, one drone part, 15 scrap. Man. I mean, I guess if you're going to offer me seven missiles when I need my missile launcher this desperately, I should probably just take the deal. I accept. Okay, no store here. Fair. This quest might be a store. Oh my god, this does not connect to the exit. Are you kidding me right now? Wow, this, this, this layout is really bad. Okay, well, let's get up here and then... I guess over and back down. Probably gonna go through here and then swing back through this. Rough. Okay, intruders on board, fine. I can go one, two, three, four, five, and still make this jump since these are nebulas. I think that's my best and really only play right now. Okay, automated shift to get to the station could be uh, some rewards, but look what we have here, a three shielder. Okay, we're gonna get this drone almost lined up to fire. Okay, shields went down, that's good. Okay, we're gonna go here. Okay, which drone went down? No drone went down. Uh, I'm gonna lay out here. Okay, beam drone went down. Fair. I didn't mean to move him, but I did. Okay. Um, let's lay out here. Missile launchers up. I'm just gonna hit here again. I don't think this is a time to be sparing resource. Twenty-five and nothing useful, they say. stuff I'd like to buy right now. I'm just going to hold on to my scrap, though, because I, I need an escalation at the next store. If I don't get that, the run's probably over. It's just the reality of the situation we're in.
level two, fair. Um, I should go here on the cloaking. We got level two cloak, dang. That's fair. Truth. Sorry, you got bothered by your little bro bro pin pin. That's tough. All right, it's a lot of ion damage potential. Uh, I'm just going to run this guy over here. The engines are hacked as well. I guess I could maybe go for like a crew kill here. It's a little bit risky though. Let's see what happens. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> dude. All right, what's the maximum I can do if I'm diving on this one? So I can go one, two, three, and then still make this jump. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Do I store first or quest first? I kind of wanna do quest first, though it's more of a risk. I think if the quest was going to be a fight, it would show as a event. Because this could repair us and make us not have to repair at the store. Yeah, I'm just going to take an additional risk here and take the quest first. We'll dive at the nebula and then we'll get to the exits. Repair? Okay, no repair, but nice scrap. Alright, there's still no weapons here. Dang. Dang. I'd like to buy cloaking, but if I buy cloaking, I'm not going to have enough for weapons at the next store. Likely, anyways. Alright, I'll buy back a battery here and that's it. Double missile launcher, that's pretty rude. Okay, it's only the whole missile. We'll get out of here, no problem then. Cool dive. 
Well, it's happening. I eat one missile here. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, my guy's not at engines. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. My guy was on engines to start here. We would have not taken a missile damage. Fact. That's fine. Let's go to the med base, sir. Not a fight here, please. Ooh, okay, well... I'm gonna demand to surrender their goods, no matter what. They don't want to fight, but my weapons are down, sir. They also have anti-combat drones. This is really tough to deal with. Dang, I think they're gonna get away and get a double fleet pursuit here. Okay, well, if I got that online, maybe not. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Dang it. Hmm. Okay, that did take the shield down, so we're actually going to get the kill here. Amazing. Jump imminent? Not anymore. Okay, we took the hacking down too, so we're somewhat safe-ish there. I'm going to fire another Lado out here. Just so I guarantee the kill here. Super sketchy. Yo, what's up, Layla? The Zoltan. Let's get Layla a new name here. Is Mr. Pebble. Okay. What what a jerk. All right, if I had more time, I could probably get a crew kill here. This looks really dangerous weapons-wise. They have four lasers and mini beam on a pretty decent timer. Gonna use a drone here for sure. Okay, turning it off. Ooh, it actually looked like it was going to fire there. I hope that didn't mess up the timing. I'm kind of wondering here if I can get a crew kill. I feel like I can, but it's a risk. I should probably take every single risk I can right now, because if I don't find a weapon like very soon and upgrade it, the run just dies anyways. We're, we can die any jump now, I guess, is where we're at, because we're late Sector 4 going into Sector 5 with the starting weapons on the ship. Um, no chance to escalate so far.
I already proved last time that if I hit with the halberd and the Lado beam under the uh, mind control duration, that we can kill off a human versus human on this ship. So let's go ahead and just wait a second here. Okay, we're gonna go here. We're going here. They both got hit, good. Okay, that did not hit at the right time, fine. Miss? No, don't miss. Don't miss again. Okay. No, no weapon, but a worthy try. NG control? Okay, three stores in the NG sector. This could be our out. Store? No store. All right, what gives us the best chance of seeing the most jumps? This jump right now reveals the most, so that's the one we're going to take. Again, I'd love to spend here, but... Getting a weapon and then getting the weapon upgraded is our most important and really only goal right now. Okay, no store. Okay, this one's a great reveal, too. Hole Smasher Laser Mark II. My man. Okay, now we have a weapon. Now we can actually fire a volley. Okay. Is that the weapon I wanted? Absolutely not. But it is... It's there. It exists. I still have a potential three stores in this sector, so I, I hesitate to... Yeah, I hesitate to buy three shields right now. We are in sector five, so three shields is probably correct. Yeah, let's, let's buy three shields in this power bar so I can have this at least. It's something. All right, I'm going to go to stress and then I'm going to work my way over here, I think. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine just before the exit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, I guess it has to be seven, eight, nine. This one's barely over the line. One, two, three, four, say five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we got room. I'm going back here for this distress because I would like to hit not stores right now. Giant alien spiders can't do it, dude. Can't do it. Okay, I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this is eight. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we got the virus event here. Let's negotiate. We lose our NG, but he'll be back after this uh, fight. It's a lot of drone potential blockage here. I think we're going to be fine, though. We're going to mind control their pilot and we'll before we fire our volley. Okay, we did miss with one. That's fine. Still going to hit weapons here, which is important.
I'd rather complete this fight slower but safer than try to go for maximum damage, though apparently we could have gotten the kill on that hit. Hey, Virus is back. Who was Virus? Grievous. Fully trained in everything, Zolt, or Engineer. Maybe I drop him on weapons just to speed this up. Nah, we'll keep him as a roaming repair right now. Okay, this is a guaranteed weapon if we damage this ship enough without killing them all. Can do. They have a very um, efficient setup here. Though I do believe if I mind control and hit with my first volley adequately, they will surrender immediately because they got pretty low hull. Should be good. Let him live. Flat gun mark one. Bazingi, dude. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe just maybe we've recovered this. Because now I can also go flak, lato, uh, whole laser two. This is an additional option, which is much more efficient at hitting a single system like weapons. All right. Store here is well awesome. Um... Probably just repairing at this store, but at least we found something. Just flak halberds fine as well. Just reflecting for a moment on the possibilities of how this weapon system is going to go. Uh, also, do I need to jump to this store right now? I think I do. One, two. Oh. Maybe not. Okay, so we know we want to get to the exit from this jump, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the new path. I was thinking that I was going to go here and then hook back around, but we can't get to three. We can't go one, two, three here because this is in the third ring. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, five overtakes this one. So we have the same complication no matter which route we take. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to get six jumps no matter what. What's our best chance of getting a decent uh, transition then? I think I'm just going to take this back route. Go one, two, three, four, five, exit. Call that good. What's the other option? One, two... Yeah, very interesting sector layouts indeed. Yo, Mr. Urda, thanks for 97 months. FTL indeed. What's good, dude? We could also skip this door and go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and make the exit. It is very likely we find another store up here. Maybe that's the best option. Turning down a repair right now, though, is like... Sketchy.
If I take this upper route, our odds of getting a store are like over 50%. Also, at this store, the only thing I can do is repair. I couldn't even really buy a weapon. Unless I was going to transition into like Flak Flak Full Laser 2, which I'm not ready for. Yeah, I'm going to do this. And if there was a store down here, I could still go one, two, like three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five, six, two. Something like that. All right. Yes, you are, mister. Just a couple away. Captain Trips, thanks for 14 months earlier. So sorry for that. My bad missing you there. Hundred and nineteen scrap, huh? Alright. Alright. Don't need fuel, still. Well the pathing's basically set here. Uh let's buy Well buy nothing. What kind of drone is this? Shield over a charger. Interesting. Okay, there's no med bay on this ship. And also, it's very unlikely they can damage us, though if this is an ion bomb, maybe. I'm just going to mind control the pilot. They can fight each other. Okay, it's small bombs, so there's really no issue here. In fact, I'm going to use this as a little bit of a training opportunity, because why not? After the absolute scrape that we took to get this far, only makes sense to me. Let's just drop this for right now. Once they're out of small bombs, this becomes a safe fight. It should be their next small bomb, I think. Okay, one more after that, then. Oh, they got like the maximum amount of bombs here. Yeah, fair. I'm gonna say taking that hit is well worth the uh, price of admission here. Okay, they're officially out of missiles now. So we're doing pretty good on piloting and engines. Uh, shields still need a little bit of work, and as do weapons. 
All right, engines are done. So I'm actually gonna drop my drop my engine power now. Very nice. At the end of this training session, there's also going to be a crew kill available. I, I haven't been too big on training on this challenge or our last previous FTL sets, but when a run presents itself in such a way like this one did, where uh, you're basically denied every opportunity until the final moment where you could possibly recover and then they give you something, it feels like training's a lot more worth it in that case. Got the spicy key. A reminder, our stream is our all-day Sunday stream today. Rebooted that, what, three or four weeks ago now? I think this is the fourth one. Looking forward to it. We did run this for quite a while in between our previous fragmases, but got out of the, the rhythm. We're back in it now. Great to be here doing this thing once again. Like shield train is going to be last, but shield train is guaranteed. Every time they fire the lasers, we get two shield trainings because two bubbles disappear and then reappear. In a very aggressive play, it may be worthwhile here to just bring the halberd beam online with this. So I have flak, hole two, halberd beam. So six projectiles halberd with mind control. And the vast majority of fights, because of the Zoltan shield, I get to fire my complete volley before the enemy can damage us. It's a pretty devastating volley. I think even better, though, to get another three uh, projectile weapons, such as another flak or burst laser two, and load that in with the whole laser that replaced the halberd beam. All right, weapons are trained up. Nice. Let's go ahead and heal these guys up. Mr. Pebble is... Not getting trained. Let's drop this so I can go here. What's defamatory's job? Shields. Okay. Defamatory will heal after training has concluded. Oh, I have an engine power now. There we go. It's like, why am I dodging? Oh, yeah. That was interesting how it was a green bubble because it uh, did the shield overcharger as the shields are done. I don't know if I've ever seen that effect before. That was neat. Right, three more volleys on their weapon and we're fully shield trained as well. Did we recover the Zoltan A run? By God. No weapons until Sector 5. 
can say without any hesitation that the purchase of drone control is the reason this run is still alive. Okay, here we go. Got him. Yo, Fatal Hobo 2, thanks for 23 months. One more for two years. Definitely something I really appreciate about FTL is runs like this, where things look super dire, but if you don't give up hope and exhaust your possibilities, sometimes something magical can happen. I don't believe uh, I can rightfully say I'm going to win this run right now, but... We at least held out chances long enough to give ourselves a chance. Investigate? Nothing? Okay. I can help you out because I have an engineer. So the engineer just paid for the cost that I paid for him, which was 27 Um, bounty time. Alright, so... We're being boarded by Mantis. I don't believe there's a crew kill here. Maybe if I can get a whole laser on the O2 after breaching the weapons. That might work. Weapons first, though. Okay, we did get a breach and a fire, so if my next hull laser goes into O2, I think there's a possibility of a crew kill here. Okay, we got a breach there too. Okay, okay. I think all I gotta do next is breach inside of uh, the med bay. We did not get a breach there, but it's still all right. They're not going to finish this O2 repair, and I can probably just mind control in this room before they finish. Yep. That's right. Oh, that's too bad. Thought they had that one. Oh, I wonder if they're even going to try to repair the O2. Like, this guy is hes doing a thing right now. I think this room's out of O2. So, something I can do here is I can wait uh, about eight more seconds. And I can mind control the unit repairing O2. Okay, this is not going to happen. Cool. I'm kind of thinking the ship might be out of O2 now. Yeah, cool. Oh, of course there's a store. I'm not doing a double dive for a store right now, though. No chance. I think I'd be much more likely just to load the halberd beam online if I was going to do anything with this scrap. Attack him before he can attack, clearly. That's how the pros do it. Okay, they got a big old cloak. We need a big old volley here. I'm just going to mind control and just slam their weapons, hopefully taking this down, which is the threat. Yay.
Okay, it's worth a try. chance here eight missiles one drone part 20 scrap no of course they cloaked okay at least I hit there that's good okay, O2 is down and on fire Oh, snap. Okay, I'm just going to use a Lado here to finish this. Seven scrap will definitely do. All right, pirate controlled, Zoltan controlled. Let's go pirate controlled. Zoltans are a pain to fight. All right, no store, but immediate fights. I should very much just spin the scrap, and I'm going to do so. I really do think that getting to eight weapons is the best choice right now for our Zoltan shield to have flak hole two, halberd beam, a complete in game weapon system. All right, then. Running at a minimum. Level 2 backup battery next. Wow. Scout the sector is tempting, dude. We have long-range scanners, though. Let's fight it. Isn't more scrap better than less scrap? Just checking. All right, if I can breach O2 here, I mean, this is pretty reasonable. In fact, with all four Zoltans in the shield room, there is really no complication here. Uh, let's go ahead and drop shield power real quick, just so it replaces this weapon power. There we go. Because they can't get lower than two shields and they only have two lasers. I've got a plan. I'm going to save my mind control for the person trying to repair O2. They had level 3, okay. That was 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000. Not today, Junior. Okay, what's the hit that would mess us up here? It's not battery, probably weapons. Okay. Apparently I missed the O2. Could really use a breach here. Okay, double fire and engines. Yikes. Okay, so our engines are going down. Okay. Fine. OK, 
Okay, leave the room, please. Okay, I got a breach this time. Okay, weapons getting hit. The halberd going down is fine. As long as we maintain these. Alright, he's going to go to med bay next, I think. I'm going to mind control the engineer so he does not get a chance to repair here. We got a breach there as well. No surrender. This was the hope. What? Oh, they fired the ions after. Got it. Weapons again. That's fine. Okay, he can no longer repair here. This is the only hope they have of repairing this guy finishing the medbay repair, which I don't believe is going to happen. Okay, they're toast. Rather complicated crew kill we got there. Kill is made possible by having mind control and having a force assault in and bazingy dude flat gun mark one you kidding me all right all right uh right now i think that flak flak whole laser two lado is better than having the halberd beam Maybe Flak Flak Halberd Lado, in fact, is best. As we just saw, though, the whole laser 2 can do some really aggressive stuff with crew kills. Or Halberd, not so much. Okay, let's find our store, repair, and move along. It's also, uh, okay, not quite level 2 backup battery yet. I'd like to buy the engines, so like 80 scrap. Also, would love to repair. Uh, no, no schlabbers, dude. Yeah, for sure, Wonko. It's, uh... Four flax is 12 projectiles. It's a lot of damage. Good. Um, I already mind controlling. I'm to mind control the person repairing weapons. That's not quite true, though, is it? it? Is not. Yo, Varnus the Rock. Um, I think I'd actually prefer a high scrap reward right now with the way this ship's set up. Though getting getting a rock does open up a lot of blue options. It's a tough choice. Yeah, Corpus, that's definitely a weapon system. I wouldn't call that a slammer, but it's capable. Nice work. What would chat do here? I'm, I'm like 50-50 on this. I like the idea of the rock crew. 
but I also really like the idea of a high scrap reward at this moment. I guess the high scrap reward's less important since we already got our other systems. We don't have cloaking, though. Yeah, it's got to be scrap here. If I already had cloaking, then the crew is very valuable, but as it stands, this is better. Fifty-six scrap a do. Uh, nearby sun. Let's pass on that. All right. Uh, I got two fights coming up before the store. Uh, I'm tempted to buy this and level two backup battery. I just might. I feel like killing ships is a big issue here, though. Huh. Alright, let's just say getting 150 scrap for the next store, having cloaking, is our top priority. And then anything after that I can spend on the ship. Okay, three lasers, pike, fire. Um... Seems like a ship I might be able to get a crew kill on. Probably not, but maybe. I'm try to hit O2 first here. With full shield training, it's very unlikely these time out in such a way the pike gets me. It's possible. If I take a chip damage here, I will accept that as my consequence. This ship does not have enough hull for me to get a crew kill this way. I now realize. Alright, not a store, but non-stop fight slam jams. Alright, mind control four shields. I'm gonna reject your offer, bud. Big question is, do I mind control them? before the fact, and I think the answer is a big yes on that. I want to do is maximum damage to their weapons here. Nice. Okay, we got double breach in there, <laughs> and they're um, looking good. Double breach. I'm going to go for the O2 hit now, because if I get that, I mean, there's a chance. Okay, big miss. Oh, the whole laser's in front. I get it now. I get it. Oh, snap, I lost my shield bubble there? Indeed. Level 302 in the house. Good. Oh, they have slug repair gel. Okay, it's all making sense now. Finish this one out. Let's 
Spicy boy. Well, that was our first four shielder, and we were able to handle it. That feels nice. Yes, I'm just going to keep chasing these fights over here. I might even go into the exit and then come back this way before diving. Really dependent on finding a store right now to repair my ship, though. I've been wanting to repair for a sector and a half. And good news, we are now over the amount of scrap to buy cloaking. Yo, little crafty, thanks for 31 months. An excellent emote combination. I enjoyed that one. Thank you. Okay, cool. We got a breach there. That means the weapons will not come back online. I think for the flagship fight, the halberd might actually be better. Uh, the next store, I'm going to decide if I'm keeping the hole 2 or the halberd. I like the crew kill potential of the hole laser, but the halberd just does a huge swaths of damage, which is a pretty nice effect. Hey, Dunna, thank you so much for 21 months in that prime continuation. Glad you could make the live show today. Appreciate the continued support. All right, fine. Beam has higher overall damage potential, but less potential to de deal damage to a single room. Also, beams cannot miss, so yes, it does have a higher hit chance. I don't want to miss out on this potential store here, so I'm going to take this distress, even though it's a little bit less scrap overall. Yo, Halloran, thanks for 103 months of lurking. Glad you could make the show today. Enjoy that continued lurk. Potato Archer dropping 30 as well. Thank you, dude. Okay, not a store. Ooh, it's a Pulsar even? I'm going to go back down here and go one, two, three, a four, five, six, and then here to dive. Sure, I'll do that. This gives us all of the store potential. And if one of these three isn't a store, I'd be really careful on this upcoming dive. Maybe even upgrade engines. Maybe. Another option here is going one, two, three, four, four and a half, five exit. Let's do that. We get the reveal right away here, too. Uh, I can also go one, two, three, four, five here. Ah, this seems right. I'm going to buy four engines in my level two backup battery now. Okay. Yo, Absolute Legends, thank you all for another hype train today. Darf666, thanks for 30 months. Cool cat emotes, man. Cool. Thanks a lot, Darf. I'm 
not too fearful of this ship. So with these two ions online, I should perhaps pers respect it a little more. Oh, we're good. Yo, Conexos, 39 months in a row. Awesome corn dog. Thanks for bringing that. This easier. This will be easier to fire. Because these two are on the same plane now, so the projectiles will arrive at the same time. store. Okay, dude. Okay. Uh, wow, that's tough, man. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, four and a half dive. We'll still have the option of going one, two, three, three and a half, four dive, which is more jumps, but I get guaranteed d good or neutral scrap rewards this way. Let's just do this and check it out. Heal up my crew after this. Nine fuel for two drone parts. Sure. Sure. All right, not seeing any fights back here. You know, if I go here and there's no store, I could always jump back to the exit too. That's an option. I worry about the dive ship at 11 hole. I mean, if something goes wrong, it's going to go really wrong. That's kind of how I feel right now. Concerning for sure. That's a lot of weapon. No med bay or clone bay, but multiple engineer. I think my best ploy here is simply to damage weapons and mind control the pilot. Yeah, this ship can damage us. Maybe there's an O2 hit that can happen now. Let's see here. Okay, we did get a breach in the O2. And a fire. Uh, I believe this dude is injured as well. This is tempting. Okay, enemy FTL delayed. How much health do you have? 23. Darn. Okay, so my only real chance here is to breach the piloting. It's happening right now. It's happening. Yo, Dacus Terra, thank you for that amazing 100 months of support. Really appreciate that. I'm glad you can be here for the game you found the channel on. Glad to still be playing FTL. Love this game. Really been really enjoying this hacking challenge and very uh, dynamic in the problems that it's created. 
This run certainly has been a Zoltan A run if I've ever seen one. Can't believe we got a crew kill here. That was awesome. Ah, oh, man. Four jumps and a dive or just leave the sector right now. It almost feels like leaving the sector right now is correct, so I can see there's no fights presented in the remaining jumps. Tuffy. At 11 hole, diving's okay, but what if I take like a five hole damage at this distress or something? Then, <laughs> then not so much. I'm still gonna take this dive though. Four jumps is a lot of jumps. That could be a hundred scrap. Improve our reactor. Hell yeah, let's go. That's good. Oh, it's only three jumps. Okay. Well, even then, still worth. This could be a repair too, potentially. Search for the ship. Five damage to your hull. Okay, that was the one I was worried about. Okay. Shouldn't have looked. All right, now we're going to go and get six engines here. And how many power bars do I need for that? Okay, have just enough with the backup battery. Good. Getcharoni. ASB's here. A okay, missile launcher as well. We get to six engines right away, and we should get out of here before the ASB fires with this. Should. Good. Okay, that's that's nice. We're living now, for sure. Even if we got hit with the ASB, we're still alive. Uncharted Nebula. Here we go. Potentially only one store here in the Nebula. Talk about complications. Alright, here we go. We'll attack this ship. This ship looks not too bad. Actually, this ship looks like a crew kill potential. A little bit of combat drone here to help take it down. Okay, it does get to four lasers. I can't really afford damage here, so let's make sure we hit weapons first. Okay, we did get a really nice double breach in weapons. Okay, double breach in O2 as well. He just finished the breach, that's why he stuttered there. Uh, when they run to the med bay, I'm gonna hit it with the whole laser. What's going on with this guy? Why is he still working here? I got breaches, right? No, there's no breach in here. Okay, well, no crew kill then. I guess I misunderstood. They must have had very high level O2 is what happened there. Thank you. 
All right, we'll attack this one. Four lasers, no big deal. Enemy FTL charging. It's not. Surrender, dude. Oh, he left the room? Hell yeah, thanks for that. Thirty-six. Hey, look what we just found. It's a store. I'm just gonna take this right now. Cloaking. Heavy laser two is like a big time weapon, man. All right, now I gotta make uh, some choices. I think I'm gonna buy defense drone here, especially since we have not seen uh, cloaking, and obviously a repair is gonna happen here as well. So, do I really want to do whole laser 2? I think I want to go to switch to halberd beam now. Halberd beam's just a lot nicer on the flagship fight. I guess is the long and the short of it. Though, whole laser 2 can cause breaches in the shield room, which is also beneficial. Heavy Laser 2 might just be the best option here, because it's on a much faster timer compared to Halberd Beam. It's 17 seconds. Yeah. You could even buy Hull Laser 1, Burst Laser 1, and have a 10 projectile setup at 14 seconds. I'm kind of liking the heavy laser. Can I get heavy laser and also get four shields? I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to keep Power Beam here. We'll uh, dance with the one that brought us. Got us all the way to this point, and we don't have to invest any more into anything to have it online. It's it's just about as effective. I think that Heavy Laser 2 probably a little more devastating on the flagship fight, but this is more than adequate. Let's go ahead and get that repair to 23. Okay, we got combat and defense now. Cool. Feeling better already. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then we go back through here, which does connect down this time. Good. <laughs> Good. Hey, right, Rebel Scout, bit of a jerk move. I gotta believe Halberd Beam's gonna take down piloting here, though. Fire Lado out right now. Okay, since that hit, we're guaranteed. In fact, we're double guaranteed here. Because that's it. We go from here to here. 
Wow, I missed. <laughs> no, that didn't miss. Okay, fair. At least the FTL still delayed, huh? Next halberd is definitely the kill. I'm just going to buy two power bars now, so we're a little better off inside this nebula. Repugnant arm the weapon! Okay, don't have cloaking, that's good. That means we're going to get a nice slam jam here. I'll save the Leto. I may regret that. Okay, missile launcher is down, so no regrets. Still a chance for a store here and here as well. To be realistic about our chances. There won't be a next time. Open fire. Probably a great time to load up defense drone. Let's just do it right now. A crew kill is possible on this ship, but I think my main goal for the rest of this run is just create situations where we're safe. If I can disable the weapons, great. Defense drone is not a sure thing on this ship. Very wide, so there's not a... A guarantee we shoot down the missile. I think our chance for another sword is actually pretty good here. It's decent. Under 50%, but... Probably over 30. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. One, two, three, four, five is not six. Do I make the exit with that? So this is four nebulas and one of these. So this is uh, who I think the exit is still overtaken if I do that. Then I could go one, two, three, four, five, though. Let's start here. Long range scanner. 
All right, I got plenty of drone parts. I'm just going to go ahead and use a defense drone here. Here, actually. Dude, these offers this Sector 7 have just been <laughs> really bad. Epically bad, even. Okay, that's all I wanted to see is the missile launcher down. That's the, the main thing that could damage us here. Alright, no store at this one. I am gonna go one, two, three here. Alright. Automated ship to get to the station. Let's go. It's a lot of ions, dude. Dang. Dang. Pretty likely my defense drone gets ioned here at some point. Next volley of the halberd is certainly the kill. The defense drone missed, but so did they. There it is, I called it. Fifty-five and an ion bomb. Cool. Let's gonna pick up four shields now. We still have enough to buy cloaking at a store. That's good. Anti-personnel drone and hey, 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 look at that! Can actually hit the store without diving too because of the path we took. Hell yeah! Well, that's awesome, at least uh, to the point of... Whoa, dude. Excuse me? Double Ion 2 Heavy Laser 2. Okay, at least I can solve this right now by just doing this. With four Zoltans in the shield room, we'll never go below two shields, and that's how many lasers they have. What a nutty ship, though. I mean, this is just devastating on any ship that doesn't have four Zoltans really scary not to mention once your shields go all the way down you start getting randomly ion systems brutal like this through cloaking was probably a little better can't remember the last time I've seen a double ion 2 ship they also have nine power and weapons. Why can't I have nine power and weapons? You're cheating. Enemies can have up to uh, ten power and systems. Uh, 
I mean, yes, I'm gonna take this offer just because the combined value is higher than the high scrap reward we're gonna get, and we do have a store waiting for us. Burst laser two, okay. Hole repair drone, okay. Kind of interested in Flak 1, Flak 1, Burst Laser 2, Ion Bomb. Okay, this is definitely out. This is definitely out. All right, give me just a second here. Just a quick restroom break, and then we'll decide what we're doing at the store. Maybe I don't do anything with weapons. I'm going to decide that in a second. Alrighty. I think I'm going to keep the halber beam up because I know it's a reliable weapon. Uh, I think burst laser 2, while nice, uh, is probably a mistake here. I think if I'm going to buy anything for 80 scrap, it should be whole repair drone. Let's replace the Lado with the Ion Bomb. Let's purchase Hole Repair Drone. Hole Repair Drone gives us a really nice out. If things go poorly on one phase or another, we at least have, you know, options. I think an Ion Bomb is going to shine the most on phase three when we can hit the Zoltan Super Shield with it. But buying just some functional ship upgrades here seems nice. I'm going to hold off for just a minute, just in case we get an early Sector 8 store and I can buy cloaking there. Because that's one piece we do not have right now. All right, no store, but chance at repair station. If you look at the repair station, giving five drone parts with having purchased a hull repair drone, that is 15 to 25 hull repair per repair station that we hit. All right, as long as we stay above 150, I'm fine spending. Let's buy value here, value here, value here. Looks good. Very true, Corp is much less of an issue uh, missing when we have um, a beam. I will use defense drone here.
Okay, didn't work. Go here. There we go. Okay, no more misses either. I think they get to cloak again before I fire here. Let's find out if that's true or not. We don't need much. Oh no, we get to fire again. I cannot remember the last time I had an effective ion bomb put into a system like this. I'm going to go here because it leaves me multiple repair station options. And while all of this scrap up here is awesome, getting drone parts is the safest thing I can possibly do right now. Oh, there's a store back here. Fortunately, they're very close to the base, so I think getting this is too difficult. Okay, one, two, three, four. He's gonna go one, two, three, four. Yeah, we get to the we get to the base a little bit late taking that store. This is fine. Fight the rebel ship, dude. You kidding me right now? Okay, they got shield over a charger. That's a jerk move. He shot the drone. What a guy. Okay, so now I can uh, fire out in mind control. Let's just go here. Nice. No weapons until Sector 5, in fact, Sprite Guard. Halfway through Sector 5 is when we found our first weapon. Okay, 300 scrap. Let's just buy some power bars and engines, I guess. Let's get this engine maxed out. We'll just buy power with the rest of our scrap. Well, we're four shields, eight engines, eight weapons. Good place to be. Pretty clear we're going for a weapons hit here. Missile launcher down makes me feel nice. All right, we made it all the way to the flagship fight. What am I going to buy here? I think I might just buy a few value points, though. Going into drones is good, too. Let's see where our power is actually at if we're powering drones. I know I'm going to use at least defense drone on phase one, phase two. Maybe going to four drones and a power bar here sounds good. Yeah, all right. Phase one beginneth.
Okay, we learned that ion bombing the uh, cloaking was very good last time. Okay, uh, let's do this for right now. I don't need to use my backup battery power just yet. Now I do. Okay, nice. Cloaking got hit. That means that we're set up here to fire the halberd again. In fact, I can fire the flak first, then fire the halberd afterwards. Keep that down. And that's the kill right there. Okay. Okay, I just I powered that up because I wanted the flawless. There was no good reason for that. In fact, the whole repair was guaranteed to be better. I made a choice. Okay, we're going to wait for, to fight them at the base phase two here, as is the correct way to do it. By doing this, we get to jump into them phase three, leaving ourselves the base as a safe jump back, which is a very important note because phase three gets crazy. Alright, so on this one, I guess I'll Ion Bomb the shields and miss. Okay, drone phase is really scary, even with 55% dodge and 4 shields. Depending on what drones spawn, can easily damage us here. That's better. Good. Okay, we survived the drone phase. Let's do this again. Nice. Pyoting's down. Phase two completes. I'm right, just gonna buy a power bar here. Now phase three has boarding and mind control. Top off here with the hull repair. Okay, as one saving grace, we do get a little bit of time where they're not boarding or mind controlling while we have our Zoltan shield active, and we have a lot of dodge, so this can last for a minute. And some very rare occasions can even last past the uh, the first super phase. Thank you. 
Okay, mind controlling. That's fine, I can vent that. Okay, we missed. <laughs> this achievement that just popped up is get hit by five projectiles while at maximum engines in a row. Astronomically low odds indeed. That hitting is big. Who got mind control here? You did. Okay, let's just break this down. Is this mind control? Okay, let's repair that. G G, what a run, dude! That was nuts. No weapons until sector five. Well, a win's a win. We earned it for sure. Barely scraped together with that uh, combat drone, drone reactor pickup. In fact, we sold a combat drone to buy drone control with a combat drone, which is the only reason we were able to defeat like eight different ships. I'm going to say we're over 6k on that one because we did get uh, long range scanners inside of sector one, which is probably also a reason that we were able to win. Yeah, no crew losses on that run. I'm going to say 6,200 is my guess for score. Yo, Akbar10, thanks for 12 months. Appreciate the year. Thanks for that continuation. Thank you all for the support today. It means a lot. It's glad to be here still doing this thing. All right, let's check out the score here. 59-11, all right. 45 ships defeated, 107 beings explored, 1,971 scrap collected. A very adequate run. Um, 5,900 is actually a very high score for hard mode. We sometimes see those 6Ks, but... Or even 7Ks, but 5,900 is solid. And we got this one here. Fail to evade five shots in a row with a fully powered and upgraded engine. <laughs> Amazing. All right, let me update the title here because we're now at 8 of 28 ships completed, including some very difficult ones in there. I'd like to go for another challenge-style ship. Let's do Slug B now. Slug B is no med bay or clone bay, but teleporter. Yeah, buddy, Corpus. Way to not give up on that run. Congrats on your NGB victory. Yeah, that achievement's most common to happen on that 10-shot super phase Andy Tomo. I can't remember getting it any other time. I'm sure it's happened. It does only pop up once. Gonna grab some names for our starting crew here. We got Psyduck the Slug. Melody Bunny. Oops. 
Psyduck. And a great rain. All right, feel free to have some name suggestions for this very uh, maroon vessel. And we'll get it started. Great suggestion so far. Nice. I'm go uh, sludge melon here. There we go. All right, here we are. All right, so Slug B is very tricky because no Med Bay, no Clone Bay to begin. It does have Slug Repair Gel and Crew Teleporter and Heal Bomb to heal your crew with. And Artemis Missile in 25, so it's not like the worst start, but you have to be very careful. Let's go fighting you instead. Like here, level 2 doors and a mantis is pretty difficult to deal with. I'm going to do this one in two parts. Uh, the first part is going to be hitting the weapons with the Artemis. Our shields got hit. That's tough. Let's just repair these. Probably should have boarded here. What? No, don't do that, dude. No, that was not it. That was not it at all. Blinks. Okay, they still hit there. That is tough. Okay, I gotta get this repaired at least to get the heal bomb online. Them repairing once here is fine. All right, now I'm going to teleport over here. Loading up the Artemis again to leave myself a couple outs. So the out here is that if we miss with the heal bomb, we can fire Artemis into shield. So we did hit with the heal bomb, so we're going to be okay. Yoho, what's up, Ariel? That is nice. Getting a rock crew member. It has 150 HP. That's great. In fact, I'm just going to leave these guys at low health and board with these guys next turn. Okay, one, two, three, four, and then head over. Sounds good. We'll go one, two, three, four. Okay, Zoltan, human, I might as well just board over here. Uh, is this worth Artemising? Yeah, we'll fire two missiles if I don't. Would much prefer one missile. Nice. 
19 and 9. Not bad, not bad. All right, now we can use the heal bomb on our ship. You cannot miss with teleporting bombs firing at your own ship, so it's always best to fire at or heal your crew on your own vessel with the heal bomb if possible. All right, next up is Doomrick. There's Doomrick right there. Awesome. All right, Clone Bay, going to reject the offer. We got a three crewer here, though. The three crew does include Inji and Zoltan, so we should be all right. I think I'm going to board, and I might board a second time here. Unfortunately, the uh, this missile launch is just going to hit us. Not much getting around it. Teleporter just took damage. Dang. All right, well, that sorts it out, then. They are just devastating my teleporter. Got it. Waiting for him to leave the room to fire the Artemis at the cloner. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> Could have gone smoother, but we got the kill. I would say this is a very normal start for Slug V Gestapo. Very normal. Okay, there's Med Bay. I really prefer Clone Bay, but if I'm just going to get one, I might as well just pick it up here. Could also delay grabbing Medbay or Clone Bay, since it will be guaranteed our next store that sells stuff. That would get us to two shields right now. Let's sell the Slug Repair Gel. Even Ion Blast looks all right. Clone Bay is a strong preference because then I can defeat automated vessels more easily, but I'm going to buy Med Bay here. Repair to 23, and we'll get two shields next. Uh, I'm going to hold on to the heal bomb for another minute, too, since I don't have anything directly to buy with it, and it can be very helpful in some situations, like automated vessels still. The main advantage here is we're now no longer required to use a bomb on every fight. Okay, intervene and defend the outpost, absolutely. Absolutely. Outpost is double reward. Ooh. 
Okay, we missed. The more missiles we save, the longer the... Artemis is online. Okay, good. And the longer the Artemis is online, the easier our boarding is. Thirteen looks good. attack him before he can attack. Double Mantis. Alright, alright. Well, Double Mantis is no joke. In fact, we're gonna board with two slugs to start. I got a plan. Plan starts with bombing weapons, though. Okay, we hit, and it took the missile launcher down. Good. All right, now I'm gonna board here. I'm gonna roll him in there and you in here. So I'm just gonna run around this ship until my teleporter's back online. Plus, that'll work. Let's go in here, actually. Okay, now we board shields, and Manus will definitely prefer to fight in the shields here. Still have heal bomb as an option here, though. I really hope I don't have to. Okay, we're good. And since we did it that way, there's no need to... Use a second bomb. It's gonna repair this breach real fast. There's one weakness of the ship, this little corridor. It's the only way to get from one side of the ship to the other. Yo, Triger, thank you so much for 100 months of support, triple digits, another 100 club member joins the ranks, absolute legend in the house. Thanks so much, Triger, appreciate you. Round it out this way, let's go ahead and buy two shields right now. Yeah. Now we got shields. One hundy. Let's dock here. Free damage to the hull. We got a fight out of it. That's nice. Also, this ship cannot damage us. That's cool. Let's just let this rock board. Great. Should definitely win this fight. And she's only do half damage, so we have a two crew evaluation versus a 1.5 crew evaluation. 
Even with the deviations and hits, that should be a clear win. As long as we swap once. I can still go here too, interesting. Uh, let's attack the Schlapper Scum. Okay, they're boarding with the Mantis into the Med Bay. I like these guys. Good looking out. All right, I'm gonna collapse into the Med Bay and then I'm gonna board into the Shield Room. Yep, that's the one. say as long as the missile launcher didn't hit our shielding there we were fine it turns out we're definitely fine I was bored here okay not shielding good yo what's up yas good dude Want to board some ships and stuff? Right on, man. Alright, Yaz's name is now Django. That's a good one. So Django and Doomrick are now the boarding crew. Who has training on what? You got training on engines. You got training on piloting. You are going to be on weapons for now. Oh, well, good start for crew at least. attempt to download actually hold on here i think i'm just gonna not risk activating it our pathing is completely set here and at most we get like a 20 scrap reward there's not going to be a a weapon or anything here let's just take this so i don't have to use four to five missiles to defeat that ship This could be a tricky fight, but I think we have the win. I'm probably going to use one Artemis on weapons. So they have a Mantis, which hits 1.5 times as hard, and then they have a Engineer, which is 0.5. So we have a 2.5 crew evaluation versus their 2 crew evaluation. However, <laughs> Mantis has more variation than, let's say, a human. There's definitely a chance they hit a little bit hard here. And because of that chance, I'm just going to board with the second set of crew into shields. Well, yeah, let's just keep it safe here. You can actually make it a very long way in the game with just the Artemis missile and boarding. And since you're getting a crew kill on almost every single vessel, your chance to find more crew and more importantly weapons is much higher than like on Zoltan A, where you just might not find weapons till mid Sector 5 because you're relying on almost exclusively stores. Albert Beam's not a, not a crew killer. It is a ship shredder though.
<laughs> Demand a surrender of their goods. It's what we do. All right, enemy FTL charging here. So we're going to board, then we're going to reboard. Unfortunately, we're probably taking some damage here. Miss, that's nice. Okay, when they get into the, go to the med bay, I'm going to run the Artemis in here. He's dead. Okay, they have a system repair drone. I see this now. Go here. I'm going to run him over. Did not finish the repair. Great. Oh, we did finish the repair. Dang it. Him. Okay, we got a map reveal for like the no jumps that are remaining. That's cool. Pretty good sector one. We got med bay, we got two shields, we have 100 scrap left over. We certainly took our damage this sector, but everything else went good. Damage is to be expected in the early sectors. You have a clean, no damage early sector. That's great, but it's just not a reality of most runs. The scrap amount we've received uh, more than overcomes the damage we took. I don't want to go 15 for 45 here, but I can see I could regret that big time. Uh, Gustavo, my main indicators for going to Distress Beacon, if I have the combination of Rock and NG crew, I feel Distress Beacons are a lot safer. Uh, Clone Bay also makes Distress Beacons a lot safer. So if I have Med Bay and don't have NG and Rock, I'm not too stoked on Distress Beacons overall. All right, I'm going to do 10 for 30 here. I may regret this, but 30 scraps, a lot of scrap right now. Mantis controlled sounds great. I can manipulate Mantis quite easily. Also, Mantis ships generally will have weaker offenses because they are putting points into teleporter. Okay, on this ship, our goal is to almost kill this crew. We're going to try to punch him with an inch of his life. But not actually kill him. Okay, now they're going to board with the engineer. When they board with the engineer, I'm going to board their my their clone bay. And my goal here is to kill the NG, though that's not totally required here. There we go. We got a three on one beauty. You don't have boarding on this ship. You just wait until um, you just wait until they board the second crew, kill them off, and then shoot the clone bay, and then hit the pilot or whatever. All right, sweet. Uh, getting an NG here is awesome. We've got a really nice crew composition for where we're at in the game. We've got both NG and Rock together. So uh, just like you asked Gustavo, we'd now be a lot more willing to take on distress beacons. A lot of blue options covered there.
Ariel's name is... Arse the Potato Classic. This was an excellent training ship. I agree. Thanks for pointing that out, Zealousy. Not willing to train at this point in the run, but I agree. If we were going to do uh, some AFK training, that would be the spot to do it. More than adequate. Quite good, in fact. That is you, Parse. Nice. Always love when multiple people are on the ship that are in the forever naming game list. That's nice. Uh, I probably should spend on my ship right now. Two power bars engine puts us at 95 scrap still. That's decent. I'm going to do this. I think that's worth it. Fin for yourself, attack and escape. Alright, missile launcher hurts. Probably is gonna fire an Artemis out here. No med bay, no clone bay though. We'll also need to board with a second set of crew, which I'll do here in just a second. Provided this hits. Did. Uh I'll repair that. Yo, Handico, thanks for 94, six more for that 100 club. Thank you all for those legendary length resubscriptions today. Thank you to all the new subs and viewers as well. Appreciate all your support. Just thank you for all the things you do to make this content full-time and sustainable and no frills and sponsorship free. You're all amazing. Couldn't have this experience without you and I never forget it. Go oh, it's cause Kaz final kill before maturity. Whoa, big fight for this guy. All right, this is scary because they have three crew and two of them are Mantis. So, um, I suppose if I board shields right now, that's... It's going to be NG here. Oh, no, it's Mantis. Um, OK. I think if I just barely manage my crew here, I could maybe save them. I really wanted the engineer to be the one coming over, but he's not. Oh, man, how do I pull this off? I have to let them run to the med bay. I think I need to do this and this. I should not have boarded shields here. Is a fact. Yeah, fighting and piloting is right, but they have... Um, Start breaking the door down with him. That's how it's done. Okay, I gotta go here and here. 
you do go here, you two go out, you go in first, you go in second. Would have been much nicer to board with the non-NG here, but the fact is we're going to get the kill. Okay, no more missile launchers coming out. How much health? 13, 7. He has 70, so I need to swap these again. And then... 11 health, 32 health. 32 sounds more reasonable. We're going to send him out and him in. And here. How much health do you have? 21, 18. Okay, we're going to win here. Woo! Scarzy. It's a real fight. No story yet, dang. So much better would have been to board in a non-shield room and then send the second set of boarders into the shield. Uh, that way I wouldn't have had to break down the door between shield and piloting and our margin would have looked a lot nicer. Everybody lived, though. It's going to keep taking jumps, hoping for a store. Let's make sure we're not going to miss out on jumps by doing this, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight before the exit. So this has to be eight, seven, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven's fine. Is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Okay, I still think those jumps are our best chance. I can always include another jump on my way up and over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, exit, sure. I'm gonna miss out on seeing this jump, but I think that's all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight also works. Maybe I go here for a chance at this store. I guess I also have the option of coming back up this way too. So it'd be, it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is a very hard thing to include. Let's just go for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure. Let's get the reveal now. Intruder on deck. Bounty time. Okay, five damage to the hole. I was kind of expecting that. We got border, no border, but fire somewhere. Fire's gone. Three hole is a very dangerous amount of hole. Blast doors. I actually could have got us killed. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, store time. How many jumps till this one? One, two, three, four, five. So this would be six. This would be five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exit. Boom. I'm alive. Mind controls definitely good. Just 
Small Bomb is technically better than Artemis, but 45 scrap better, probably not right now. Drone control would be nice with the defense drone, but it's not showing here. Alright, I'm going to sell Heal Bomb. I'm going to buy Mind Control. And I might as well buy Backup Battery too, because I need to buy power to have stuff powered anyways. Okay, here we go. Attack the ship. Uh, okay, well... gonna let them board then I'm gonna board them and then I'm gonna mind control the person trying to fight us oh O2 is important huh okay the mind control broke that's that's tough all right, let's just start by doing this. I was trying to save missiles, but as you can see, that's not what's going to happen. Yo, larger than Link. Thanks for 98 months of support. 98 consecutive as well. Ape Stomp with 101, 101 months. Thanks for that legendary support. As I always say, whether you're tuning in for the first time or you've been watching since day one of the tier live stream challenge, just thank you all for being here to share this moment. A lot of legends today. I'll take a distress here. We got the goods for it, and we're no longer in whole exploding territory. I will give you four fuel. 22 scrap. I like those guys. Ooh, store. Okay. There's a couple weapons that would be possible to buy here. Or not. That's fine, too. Buy one repair so the storekeep doesn't think I'm rude. How many here? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna board with the rock here. Let's see what happens. If I take the piloting down here, I will consider using four missiles on this ship, but otherwise pretty sketchy. Yeah, no. I would love to get this kill. It's just simply too many missiles to uh, to give up. So they're jumping, but I'm going to press jump as well so I don't get the double fleet pursuit message pop up. That's a cool little trick.
All right, investigate. We can get a guaranteed NG here with number four. Or we can do one and have a 50% chance for an NG plus scrap. Let's just do the slug crew here. Gladly take another engineer on board. All right, this is a relic. A U R I E L L R A C. Let's see, got it. All right, we're going to go Mantis controlled. Gonna jettison the pod here. That's an event you can take if you have clone bay safely, but med bay not so much. Okay, big missile launcher here. Hmm. one down. Now, if I board in the shield room, they will not repair that. Hmm. Trying to get out of this without using another missile, which is difficult, but possible. Alright, so we're gonna board the shield room here and then send these guys up to the med bay. And then I'm gonna be going in and out of the shield room here. There we go. Alright, 29 scratch. Nine jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Leaves plenty of room to move around. Good. Will we have fuel to do that? Another question entirely. Let's attempt to download. Well, actually, fighting this ship's very difficult with six missiles. We're not going to risk it. We're just going to take the scrap that shows. All three of these connect over, so we have an adequate wiggle. Aid the civilian ship. Let's go. All right. Basically the same as last fight, except for this time, it's easier for us. We do not need to... Yeah, no need here. To hit their weapons. I want to board with two crew that have regular movement speed to start. I guess double NG boarding teams what I want to do here to start. There we go. 
gonna mind control him too, because I can. Oh look, he's already hitting that for me. Maybe we can get the uh, the med bay down like this. Wait. That was a fun little mind control use I wasn't expecting. Uh, welcome aboard, Zeramar. Know anybody that's got a weapon around here? Just checking. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gotta believe there's gonna be a store in these remaining jumps. Zeramar also getting a name here. Nelson. Nelson the Mantis. Alright, Nelson's gonna be the uh, order with the human. I'm gonna put the rock on shields now. Yoho Soup Guy, glad you could stop by. Nice to see you, dude. Alright, you're in O2. Rocks on shields, you're here. Very good. Yo, Bob Gray, thanks for nine months. Appreciate you keeping it damper. Thanks a lot. All right, we've already killed this ship a couple times. We know how to do it. Do I need to Artemis the weapons? Not really. Okay, let's do the same technique we just did. I'm just going to vent this guy. I'm going to board into shields. And when the Mantis hits the med bay, I'm going to mind control. And then I'll send the human over here as well. Oh, he went into the... Hmm. Okay, well. That's certainly a thing you can do. Over here and here. We're also not going to be killing off the uh, Mantis in time here, I don't think. Yes, this got weird. Uh, I'm half tempted just to reset this and not use a missile. I think it ate missiles and having no other weapons. I am going to do exactly that. I'm going to pull my crew back and reset, because they will board again as well, and next time they board, I'm going to ambush their crew and make sure it dies on my ship. Okay, so we go here, we vent them out, and we put four hard-hitting crew into this room. Okay. Let's try this again. Hit the mind control as he's going through the door now. That's it. That's how you do it. No need to reboard, we got him here.
32 scrap of dew. Gonna bank on getting enough fuel here. Intruder on deck. A bounty, please. Okay, five hull damage again. That's fine. This grass pretty important. There's no store back here. Uh oh. Guess we'll see. Still going to maintain the same route because I can always cut this jump for a weight and yeah, it's a tough one. We are one fuel reward away from this sector being completely covered, so I got to have a little bit of faith that'll happen. Okay, we can get a guaranteed store right here. Let's go. Let's go. There it is. <laughs> okay, not weapons, but we can pick up cloaking, long-range scanners, and two fuel would be a possibility. I think probably defense drone and long-range scanners is just better. Defense drones at this point in the game is kind of like cloaking that lasts longer. It is our last system. Long range scanners, okay. Five fuel, little repair. But now, if we run up to a ship that has a lot of missiles, it's not a complete catastrophe. We can at least wait it out. Will it allow us to board more ships? I would say defense drone and boarding go very well together. Alright, so this is a three shielder. Or three weapons. Okay, that's where they boarded in. Interesting. So I'm going to collapse with everybody onto this. And then I'm going to board the shields. And when the NG is getting through this door right there, I'm going to mind control him. Didn't quite work. There's no med bay, no clone bay here though, so this should be all right. Ooh, I didn't take the weapons down? Interesting. Thought that would have done it for sure. Another fight where we spared using a missile. That's nice. No, I'm not selling any more missiles here, dude. Thanks, though. Already kind of regretting that first missile sell. I think I'll pass on that. Alright, we got the technique here. Okay, boarded there. Good. I'm gonna abandon. I'm going to board here. 
He's already gone through the door. I can see that he's moving through the door right now, so we mind control here. And I send the human over. Okay, this time they have level 2 clone bay. They did not finish it in time. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wish. I don't really think I want another rock here. I like the crew composition as is. Yeah, I'm going to decline the request. Send the rock in. Boom. Zoltan Shield Bypass. Wow, that could actually be a super functional piece of this build. Because right now, getting past the Zoltan Shield would take at least three missiles. At least. Alright, depending on where this hack lands, I am, I am more than likely going to... Uh, fire into their weapons here. I don't see how we wouldn't, actually. Oh, okay. That's not good. Okay, they might controlled on my ship this time. That's good. It's only a mini five second mind control. It's really dangerous though. All right, 17 scrampa dude. All right, NG Homeworlds it is then. Three stores here for a chance to find any weapons. This is like no weapons the day on stream here. That is true, Greg. If we pulled the power out in between hacks, that would have uh, diffused the mind control hack. Very f fair note. All right, we got the virus event here. Let's go NG crew. Parse the potatoes is gone, but he'll be back as the virus after this next one. <laughs> as it turns out, we are absolutely not getting a missile or any drones past this bad boy. 
can do, though, is board uh, right away and just start killing them. Bear. Alright, virus is back. Virus was who this time? Virus was parse the potatoes. I'm gonna go here checking for a store. This is NG Homeworlds after all. Also, it looks like I need room to make up the difference over here. Or suffer the consequences. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So barely enough left in the sector to do it. I mean, could it distress here as well, but I think this is nicer. Intruder on deck again? Okay, bounty time. Hey, we actually just got the bounty this time. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, exit. Three, six, nine, ten. That's the path. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Well, if there's weapons at the store, we certainly have the scrap to do it. Look what we have right now. Zoltan Shield Bypass. Uh, how, how do, how do... The ship's actually very dangerous, too with four laser beams. Okay, I think I start in the med bay and then I punch the door to the shields and the door to doors down and then I board shields and end in med bay. I think that's the fastest way to do it and it'd be really nice to have level two teleporter here, but we don't. Okay, let's begin by boarding with engineers. It just makes more sense this way. Door disassembly crew has arrived. What a lifesaver Zoltan Shield Bypass is. Gonna swap in case they have a little med bay. They don't. Okay. A little bit of pain there. Well, we managed to save the engines at least. 
All right, store time. For sure, Paragon. Those uh, Ultra Crew are awesome. Yeah, that's right. That NGs do not um, affect... Or they break down doors and systems at the same rate. They just don't do the same damage to crew. That was the reason for boarding with NG, so I had my higher health crew actually damaging the enemy, uh, able to fight one-on-one -on -one afterwards. Okay, buying this. Uh, I'm debating buying the pike beam. That just seems like a bad idea, though. I can't use hacking, so... This would have to be a piece that I get online after I get the next piece. I don't know about that. I'd rather just see another store, really. Uh, let's repair up to 23 right now. And my gut tells me to buy three shields. I'm going to listen to my gut. One power bar. Well, early three shields, and the only reason we have early three shields is because <laughs> we haven't found any weapons or anything else yet. Attack the ship. All right, this one shouldn't be too bad. Definitely a defense drone situation. Well, I think the trick here is just to board right away and collapse on this one. Not the pilot. Yeah, teleporter two is a good purchase here as well. I won't. Uh, I won't even try to make an argument against. That'd be a nice call. I feel forty-one scrap. Not bad. Not bad. Let's just pick up Teleporter 2 here. I'm with you, Wonko. The complete lack of a regular offense makes 2 Teleporter nicer. Yo, player known, I saw you resub in chat. I saw it on the event list, and I just didn't say anything. Thank you so much for 73 months, six years, and climbing. Appreciate you, player known. As always, whenever late to or miss your notification, do sincerely apologize. I got a terrible case of humanitis. It's a fact. In addition, as part of our No Frills format, no pop-ups, alerts, or sponsored gameplay. I don't have alerts or anything playing in my ears, so my brain does that brain thing every now and again. Including today. Unless that's an ion bomb that hits our shields, this ship is not damaging us. I'm just going to try to kill the crew, uh, board, and then reboard. good he's dead let's just board with a regular crew so i'm gonna have to board the second time anyways and it is not an ion bomb so we're safe I'm gonna queue up the old benny hill here
didn't use two power and teleporter, so it would have gone faster. Oh, at least this fight's not a rush. Is there going to be another store here? We make it into Sector 5 with no store and no weapon. That's going to be back-to-back -back runs with no weapon found till at least Sector 5. That's, that's amazing. Double amazing because one of the ships was a boarding ship. Really, any of these crew rewards we got could have been a weapon reward or drone instead. But no. Well, I mean, it's a good deal for fuel. I'm going to say no, though. All right, looking at one, two, three, four here. I'll give you four fuel. Sure, after I turn down buying fuel, you betcha. If this one's over the line, that'd be kind of sad, but I don't think it is. I believe I can still make that jump. Oh, NG here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we can make this one. Awesome. This upcoming quest we just got is the NG Homeworld quest event, which at the end of it has a full repair and a titanium system plating reward. That's nice. All right, we're just going to go for the old defense d drone razzle dazzle here. All right, with level two, this should be fine. Let's just uh, mind control them and then I'm going to board the shields. So when the crew respawns out of the clone bay, which it will, it's going to run to the shields first. Yeah, we're in the clear now. Oh, man, I can't take that store right now. I want to desperately, but I'd be triple diving for this store. No way. No way. Hey there, Mr. John. What's good? Glad you could stop by today, man. Would if I could, but I can't. Three fuel, three drone parts, nah. Woo! Holy crap, a weapon is just floating in space. Burst laser mark two. That's a start of an offense. Alright, NG controlled then. start. Let's at least power this and buy two power bars here. So I can do something like this and still be in range. All right, the kicker on these quests is that they're going to be trying to run from us. Guaranteed, in fact. These quest markers can also overtake the places that stores could be, though that's not likely, that is a possibility. 
Okay, so I'm going to load up defense drone here. I'm going to uh, not have my crew in the right position to start this fight. Cool. We're going to level two board immediately into shields, and then I'm going to mind control here as well so that all four crew are in this room. Okay, I can't even Artemis here. It's not, not even a possibility. Let's go here and here. Okay, we're in luck. We got the we got the marker. So the quest marker that just appeared on the map, this one is a full repair and titanium system plating. So that's a, a very good thing to shoot for right now. And we can forego this quest. We know it's a, a decoy, a decoy fight. So it is guaranteed to be a fight if we end up diving. It's a big find because it's the repair and the plating. And fuel, two of them, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna hit the distress, because what if there's a store here? If I take this beacon, I'm missing out on this one. And don't lose anything by taking this route. Hitting this later is not necessarily bad either. Fuel's a concern. Run another scan. We're gonna save the drone schematic. Sorry, Inji, that's in there. It's just that, you know... Already full up. Oh. Damn, that is a tough, tough fight. I think the only way to properly pull this off is to Artemis the uh, Med Bay. And to do that, I need to do the board mind control thing I just did. I'm going to drop the burst laser here for engines. Right, and once this guy enters the room, then I'm going to mind control, which is going to pull the pilot off, which is going to hopefully let the Artemis hit. And then we got to go here and here. Great. Okay, we got a fuel out of that. It makes me feel good. Intruder drone. Awesome. Gift store, please. Destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates. Alright, zero fuel at the quest beacon here. I th we should get fuel here. Should get fuel here. Okay, they have a very competent weapon set up here, so I probably want to hit them with at least one Artemis to the weapons. Yeah, okay, we're going to let them board me, and then I'm going to board them to pull their pilot off. 
Uh, killing the crew off is not important here, but what is important is making sure that we don't take a bunch of damage. Okay, good. You know, I'm just going to Artemis here. Basically using another one either way. One fuel. Is there a store? Maybe? No store. Okay. Uh, should probably duck back so I can dive from here. I have 435 scrap on hand right now. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Let's buy two engines here. Level two backup battery at least. And I mean, I have a whole bunch of sellable resources. We hit a store as well. Just haven't found one here in this sector. Really makes me think that at least one of my stores was overtaken buy that. So when you reach a point where you have no fuel in FTL, you can wait uh, at the beacon to hopefully have somebody with fuel show up. But that may, may or may not happen. So I think getting as far away from the fleet pursuit as possible is the most reliable way to survive here. does deny me access to these jumps unless I get fuel. What's your offer? Oh, we just don't kill them all? Right on. So we're going to get a guaranteed weapon here if we damage this ship to death. Which, how do we want to do that, in fact? All right, this is going to be one of the most complicated events of the entire run, I think. And while I think about how I want to execute uh, this. I'm just going to stand up stretch real quick. Also, I'm streaming for four hours, 20 minutes, and it is my lunch break. I'm just going to stand up stretch real fast, use the restroom, grab some water, encourage you to do the same. I am absolutely sure some kitty is going to be appearing for treats here momentarily. I will be back in just a few minutes for the continuation of this FTL Slug B run. It's been a real slog, but a fun one. Be back in just a minute.
Alrighty, I have returned. Thank you for your patience during that brief intermission. Do hope that you enjoyed the kitty break time. How could you not? How could you not? All right, so uh, this fight is really... I was thinking about the entire break while I was eating my lunch. Hey there, fan. We're glad you can make it today. You look nice today. Thanks for four months. What a name, what a player. Trenton, thanks for 45 earlier. Overdose, 7,000. Thanks for five months. I feel like I've done a terrible job of uh, recognizing your sub support on time today. So sorry about that. My brain is functioning well today, but I'm like on another plane at the moment, I guess. Okay, this fight's really tricky because uh, the goal of this fight is to damage the ship enough that they give us a guaranteed weapon. So the obvious solution would be just to throw Artemis missiles at this thing um, until they surrender. But that'll probably cost us maybe 8 to 10 missiles, which I think is unacceptable right now. So the next step would be to board with a bunch of crew. We can kill off the crew without having much of an issue because they have clone bay. So I think one Artemis goes into weapons and then we board and hit shields with a bunch of crew. And then after that, we hit them with the burst laser too. So I think what's going to happen here is we're going to end up boarding with basically our entire ship. Starting right here. And then as the second crew arrives, I'm going to mind control it. And then we're going to start running around. Okay, so they're fighting him. Cool. My crew barely got injured. That's perfect. Uh, let's get fighting crew in here, actually. I'm going to board with a rock last because they're much slower. Okay, the ions are down, so now I only need one shield. That's good. Okay, they only have level one clone bay, and I'm sure of that because of what just happened. In fact, I'm going to leave this room so these crew don't take the 15 damage from the Zoltan. Only the Mantis will. And it's time to load up the Burst Laser here, too. It didn't quite work out. Still fine. Also just start punching down the ship here. Um, maybe that's a better play. Let's start with that. As long as I have somebody to tank here, we're gonna be fine. Ooh, that's right, the Zoltan respawns. Yuck yuck. Alright, well we did hit the shields here, good. Alright, he needs to leave the room. Who else is low? You leave the room as well. Go here. Okay, I'm going to mind control the next guy that spawns so that we can actually punch the shields down. There we go. Please don't. Uh oh, no. Um, do I have any way of stopping this pain? No. Uh, I can get them to surrender. That's what I can do. Let's fire here. Go in here. Wait. Okay, that might have actually stopped the um, the damage from happening. 
Okay, they're not going to lose all their crew now. Thank God. Okay, return to the settlement. 37 scrap and a small bomb. Eh. Not nothing, but we are officially out of fuel. Yeah, that's a good point, Parse, that the mind controlled unit would have survived at least. It was just a little bit a little bit panicky there with the mind control guy being <laughs> how he was. Okay then. So we gotta go Distress Beacon on, and we wait. Three fuel for 22 scrap. Ugh. Okay, I probably should. Probably should. Maybe there's a store here. I mean, honestly, there should be a store there. Should be. At least we've made a lot of scrap this run, so losing that 22 scrap wasn't, like, too bad. Okay, time for Zoltan Shield Bypass to shine. We're going to board here. We're going to set up the second set of crew to board into shields. It's going to be these guys. Oh, I can mind control. Okay. Okay. I didn't realize that the Zoltan Shield Bypass was actually going to bypass that. Makes sense. Forty-four, thirty-two. As long as he doesn't drop below fifteen, we're good here. Or thirty, rather. No fuel. Okay, there's damage, but no fire. There's the fire. Get that fire out so these other crew can actually walk in that room. Yay! Two stores back to back. Yay! Huzzah! I'll wait till the next store to sell the titanium system casing. Looks like we're just gonna buy fuel here. Also, uh, no weapons. Fine. Oh my god, little buddy, you're just the best. These cats today, well, and every day. By all seven fuel. Cool. Get those other store now. Page two has no weapons. Okay. Here we go again. 
I'm gonna buy all four fuel. Um, I'm gonna sell titanium system casing if we find an augmentation that at least gives us something to replace with. Oh, I do have 20 missiles here. Uh, I'm just gonna buy a weapon power and two power bars. Yes. Small bomb Artemis together could definitely help us out in a worst case scenario. I'm also considering here if buying Beamer Combat Drone might be worth it to replace the anti-combat with. Having a combat drone for Phase 3 is definitely good. Uh, maybe Beam Drone's better for Phase 3. Could be a little insurance to take down the Zoltan Super Shield. I don't know about that. I think it's a little early for that. Is this Sector 4 or 5? Sector 5, okay. Purchase a 6th engine now, too, and a power bar. And we know we're going to use this 6th uh, engine to dive this sector. It's all adding up. I'll keep anti-drone for now. Actually, hold on. God, this is tough. I could see buying Beam Drone here being the reason we defeat Phase 3, so... Enemy FTL charging. Defense drone. Let's level two board here, right here. There is anti-personnel. That's tough. Okay, at least it pulled four out here. Here and here. Actually would like the... Crew on somebody else. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and small bomb the Clone Bay. Nice, we hit the crew there too, that's big. Okay, let's fix up the crew positions. Just got to swap these two right here. Dang, dude. Toughy. Most importantly, they didn't get away to double fleet pursuit. Sure, Zoltan Shield Bypass works on Phase 3 of the flagship fight if you've managed to kill off all of the crew. And good luck doing that without hacking. S'more, you're gonna get in big trouble, buddy. You're in trouble right now, I can just tell. You're in trouble. You're doing it. What a lad. No fear. That is to say, Zoltan Shield Bypass could be very useful on Phase 3 of the flagship fight, but it's not its not a solver. It's a piece of a piece of a piece. Okay, it's a nice ship. We'll be out of here before the Vulcan ever gets fully loaded.
Ooh, rock homeworlds or civilian sector? I think civilian sector sounds nicer for getting stuff. Rock homeworlds does have a really badass reward associated with it. I think more stores is more important right now. Yo, I think too easy. Thanks for 50 months. Evening's going well. Thank you. Just be ha happy to be here doing our all day Sunday stream thing. Been a quite quite the adventure on the two FTL runs so far. They just aren't giving me weapons. Maybe this store will turn it around. Page two. Hey, burst laser one's a weapon, okay? It's a weapon that works. In fact, small bomb Artemis, burst laser one, burst laser two could win. Not easily, but it opens the realm of possibility. Should I consider getting Ion 2 here? Probably not. Probably not. It's gonna buy out the fuel with the fuel woes we've had. I don't want to run into any more problems this sector. Also, what in tarnation is this sector layout? Alright. Maybe I'm supposed to go one, two, and then back down here before the store. Kind of feels that way. Oh well, I'm not regretting that store right now. Buy one more weapon power just so I can have small bomb with the five lasers. Oh boy. I hope you're doing well as well, Zephyrnaut. It's been a good one, man. Uh, let's attack the pirate. They have boarding. Okay, we're gonna let them board here, and then I'm gonna board them. Oh, yeah, let's board him now. Right in the engines. And then I'll just collapse up here with these guys. I think it's likely they teleport back, but mind control can figure out the rest for us. Also, using a small bomb here not to get by the flak might be uh, really nice. Let's do that. Let's just remove that altogether. Creating one bomb not to take whole damage sounds awesome. We're just going to destroy and salvage here because delay. I think we already don't have enough jumps in the sector to get maximum value. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten before the exit. Go one, two, three, four. This is five. This is six. This is seven, eight. Let's try this one more time. One, two, three, four, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. Does not connect. Well, I guess no matter how I want to fuss about this, at the end of the day, I have however many jumps I have. So let's just continue down the path. There's not a lot of room for deviation here, so... We're gonna get what we're gonna get. Compared to the last run, the sector layouts on this one have been very friendly. Five hole damage, alright then. That being, this is the first, really, what I consider bad sector layout we've had this run.
All right, weapon. You can do a game. You can give me another weapon if you want to. You know, heavy laser one is definitely another weapon that is uh, very good. All right, I'm going to sell Artemis and pick up heavy laser here. Now we have six lasers on a pretty fast timer with a small bomb. This is an adequate offense. It's not a good offense, but it can beat the game. And sometimes just a chance is what you need. Aid the civilian ship. Tuffy right there, dude. Um, all right, we'll just do some physical damage to this one. Almost certainly going to load up our defense drone. Can also fire the small bomb underneath the Zoltan shield, thanks to the Zoltan shield bypass, which is not a small effect. Let's wait for our mind control, and then we'll shoot here and here. Okay, feeling better already. Let's go ahead and get over there, huh? We'll go into engines, I think it's safe-ish. There's another crew dice here. I can board into the shields and that will solve the fight. There we go. Yo, 56 and 32. I like those. This has been a really cool day at FTL. I like these runs the most. Nothing wrong with getting some nice hard carries, but runs like this one and the last one that make you really think critically about every decision and choice is uh very cool okay i can jump to the store to look for another weapon escalation which doesn't seem like a terrible idea let's check out what our pathing does here so I can go one, two, three, four, five, exit. That does seem pretty good. We pick up six nebulas and two regular jumps on our way to the exit. Or I could go one, two, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half. So let's just get here. So I'd be trading three nebula jumps to see the store. I think right now three nebula jumps sounds better because I could get four shields. And if I get four shields and round out our engines, we're probably in a position to win. However, just getting another flak or even burst laser one here makes our weapon system go from adequate to above average. One, two, three. I'm going to take this top route. I don't think losing a jump to that store is worth it at 90 scrap. Very tempting to board here. Unfortunately, their opening volley can hit us, and if it does, then we lose the two crew. So I think I'm going to trade a chance at damage for not doing that now. Please hit. Missed. Nice.
the breach in Piotti means they will not auto repair it. So we're going to be at one hundy. Yo, Vanheim, thanks for 50 months. Appreciate that 5-0. Thanks for resubscribing with Prime. All right, this kitty's being bad. One second. What a bad little baby kitty. Attacking the plant. How dare he? Hey, cheers to that, Vanheim. Thank you. Attack the automated ship to get to the station. That's what we're doing. That's a significant offense, but at 45% dodge, we shouldn't take damage here. I'm going to try to also not use a small bomb here. I think any damage to the weapon should make us safe-ish. That'll definitely do it. What was that noise? Oh, it's 75, okay. I missed that combat drum. Oh my god, he went right back to it. What a guy. One sec. What an absolute lad this baby kitty is. Unbelievable. Almost like he's three months old or something. What are you, three months old? Hey, Hesse, and thanks for 76 months. 75 consecutive. Appreciate that. He's being a very bad baby kitty. Sentient Waffle, thanks for 33 months. Enjoy your continued lurk.
Okay, here's a ship we can definitely get a kill on. Uh, we're going to let them board. I'm going to go out here. I'm going to put him here, slug here, him here. So the slug's tanking the damage. And then all we got to do is this. I'm going to mind control here. I'm going to board the shields. This will break the fight up into two parts. Uh, I probably should have fired at weapons there. Oh well. Ooh, it was an ion bomb. I definitely should have fired at weapons. It is the third hive train of the day. Thank you, everybody, for all your generosity on this all-day Sunday stream. If you do choose to share your resub notifications, subscribe, use bits, or GIF, got a chance some exclusive emote unlocks. Thanks so much. My experience on these previous fights is giving me hope that the flagship fight could go somewhat cleanly. Probably just want to buy four shields here, but really getting weapons online is important. Alright, here's a ship that unless this is an ion bomb that hits us directly, we're not going to take damage on. We're just going to collapse on this Mantis. I'm going to board into shields. Go. Let's see here. I have a Mantis and a human versus a Mantis and an engineer. So we're 0.5 crew assessment ahead of them. If they teleport back to their own ship, then that is not the case anymore. Scoops the weapons mana. Scoops, you're now the proud owner of a Mantis Assault. And have a nice life on this side of the universe. Okay, um, you know, I'm going to mind control here just to see another store, and I'm really glad that I did because now I can pick up charge laser, which brings our laser assessment to five, seven, eight lasers on a pretty quick timer. That's definitely adequate. I mean, small bomb is arguably maybe as good here, but I think having just a pure laser setup is uh, nicer on the flagship. Certainly makes us more effective versus shields. Buy one repair. Yo, I'm Motai. Congratulations on making it to Cosmic Ocean and Spelunky 2. That's a huge accomplishment. Very happy and really glad you're able to share that here. Good luck on your next uh, time you get there. Now that you've made it once, you'll make it again. No doubt about it. K 
Can this ship hurt us? Yeah, sure can. Sure can. Okay, so we got the med bay down. That's all I needed. Is there a fire in the med bay is the next question. No. This is all NG, so I can just board and then reboard into the shields. They also only have level one doors. I might win with just the starting crew, but let's do it this way. Oh, that was what I was worried about. I was not paying attention. Just took a huge swath of damage for my lack of concentration. Fair. All right, there's a store here to erase that damage. That's nice. Maybe I take one more jump before the store. I think I will, and just have a little more scrap. Just a little bit. Intruders on board. I got Mantis happening. They're also going to board with the third one. Okay, my crew is mispositioned. Fine. All right, I'm just going to load up a defense drone here, and we're going to slow roll this fight. Okay. I level two teleporter. Oh my god, I made a mistake again. Mistakes were made. Okay, at least he's almost dead. Let's go ahead and just hit the doors here. Okay, here we go. Now we're feeling all right. brutal boarding event. Wow. Okay, I'll heal up after the storm. So we got some fights coming up. That's nice. Heavy ion small bomb. Combat 1, combat 2. Ooh. Be like...
Okay, well, let's go ahead and repair here to 23. I think I'm just going to pick up the regular combat drone instead of combat 2. Combat 1, combat 2 together could be really powerful. We likely don't have enough time to do that. But combat 1 beam drone can strip the Zoltan shield really fast, which could be a very important part of the flagship fight. Now we're saving up for four shields and loading up drones so we can have both. Starting with this pulsar. Okay, my first priority here is just to kill weapons. I don't even really care about getting a crew kill on this at all, even. Just making sure that the weapons go down. I'm going to wait a second here. Hear that noise? We're going to mind control. Now we fire. Good. Okay, well, if our first volley went that good, then we can get the kill. When it's right, it's right. <laughs> Debbie, the shield trained, shield full repair trained as well, Zoltan. Yeah. Either drop an engineer here or I drop the rock. Could also drop my human, but then that doesn't leave us a good boarding crew. I guess boarding with rock, rock manis is not bad at this point. Let's do that. You're the new Django, Debbie. You very much like the idea of getting a free power bar right now. Little man, you are cruising for a bruising today, bud. All right? I'm watching you. You're being a very bad little kitty man. He does get away with it because he's cute. It's true. True. By cruising for a bruise, and I mean you might get picked up and nicely moved to another part of the room. Ooh. I'm not convinced I'm boarding here. I guess if I can take out Medbay here, I might as well go for it. I'll wait till they teleport back, though. Right now, they're going to run toward the Medbay for sure. Oops, all dead. That is a lot of Mantis, though. I'm just going to commit to doing a non-crew kill on this one. To me, that makes sense. And then they reboarded, and so now I'm questioning if I'm going to do that or not. Let's board in. 
Yeah, okay, we're good here. that I'm gonna get as much action here before I head back this way I'm gonna do a quick count after this heal up and reposition I have four to the store, but not really. I got three to the store. So one, this is two, three, four, five is right here. Six puts us over. So I need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then up here. Can do. I can also just hit the store right now and take a different path, but I think this one makes the most sense. Is the nebula? No. Okay. Prepared just to buy four shields at the store, but I'd like to see one more chance at escalating. This is a very, very serious weapon system. So serious, in fact, I'm going to go here. I'm going to load up a defense drone. I'm going to board their shields. I'm going to mind control the guy in the shield so the pilot comes off. And maybe, just maybe, our weapon training allows us to hit before uh, this happens. Okay, that's good. We got some lasers down there. Oh, okay. Oh, I have zero dodge, right? Okay, let's close and open. Back here. There we go. Okay, everything's fine. Scary fight, though. Nine projectiles. Yikes. Count here. One, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four, five. Pull the ship in closer. We didn't lose anybody. Awesome. Always a chance of crew loss on the Great Eye event. Also, at the class of energy bomber, I will not be boarding the ship because every Zoltan explodes for 15 crew wide damage, meaning they have a total of 75 crew damage and crew explosions. That is too much.
Yo, Jay Lang, awesome broccoli, my dude. Thanks for bringing that, and thank you as well for a 97 month resubscription. Amazing. Three more for that hundred club. Speaking of lurkers and broccoli, um, what is this cat doing? Okay. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. My cat's being a nightmare today. Which is fine, because he's very cute. If you're lurking in the channel, meaning you're an active watcher, but not an active chatter, you have the capability to, and you want to. Now's your time to post some of your favorite emotes in the chat. Just thank you all for your silent contribution. You truly are the lifeblood of this entire site, but you truly are the MVPs of this channel and community. Always have been. Always will be. Lurkers number one. Appreciate you. The best of the best. There it is. A strikey Larmike, Taco Bowl, Digital Junior, Passu, Dave Fire God, Kraus, Fluffy Kirby, Mythic Applesauce, Kanetsu. A lot of cool people here. Look at those beautiful lurkers. You guys rock. Hey there, Dennis the Gab, Gustavo, Lunar Base, Inning Cat. They just keep coming. Hey, Kanetsu, thanks for four months of Prime as well. Cheers. Knowing there's no store upcoming, I guess we haven't seen this jump. I could wait to see if there's a store here too. Uh, okay, I'll take two more jumps before I buy four shields, but I'm almost certainly buying four shields and drones. Let's go investigate. Let me assess his mental state. Fish the human. You know, it's, you just stay down there, bud. You were doing great on that planet. Just keep at it. Oh, I can help you out, NG. Boom. All right, no store. Let's buy four shields. Let's buy two drones. Let's buy power bars. Okay, I need one more power bar to function and value point here. Cool. Value O2. Cool. Intruders on board. more buddy you can just not hit your sister though if you want to i know it's tough it's tough such temptation like a new little cat cubby thing and there's canvas on top the <laughs> the cats like sitting on top of and annoying each other as cats like to do Let's just kill this ship, huh? Oh, that is fake power, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna start by hitting shields here, I think. Just keep it simple. We're not taking damage right now, that's for sure.
you know, I have adequate defense parts to do this. I gotta say, one thing I've really enjoyed about this hacking challenge, the times I pick up drone control, I've, I've learned to be so conservative with drone parts in general that I am able to use a drone part on pretty much every occasion I want to. Which is awesome. I think this is, this, this is the ninth win attempt, uh, or ninth ship attempt of this 28 ship set. And I think on at least five of the runs, we've picked up drone control. We haven't had any drone catastrophes yet. But not having to buy that hacking subsystem or not being able to buy the hacking subsystem really... It gave me a new respect for the drone subsystem is all I'm saying. He is nice. Okay, well, very likely just going to run from this one. What's up, Jeff has occurred? Army guy Claude. So many cool people in the house. Eh, with that I can probably uh, just kill this ship for extra score. Just teleport your dude back, okay? There are all kinds of messed up over there. Wow, what a journey here. So previous run, no weapons whatsoever till mid-sector 5. And on this run, no weapon until the last jump of sector 4. Been a hell of a day for FTL. And a great example of why I never give up runs on this game. Alright everybody, here's Sector 8 on our second run, Slug B. I'm going to stand up, stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water. Encourage you to do the same. We'll return momentarily for some more FTL action. No kitters right now. Doesn't mean there couldn't be any kitters. Be right back. Uh, let's see if we can get a cat on this angle. Almost, one sec.
Alrighty, we have returned. Uh, what cute kidders on the break, huh? They do that all day. This is all day for Daisy and S'more. Just it's the way they are. Let's go ahead and grab. I don't even know right now. Let's just go into a fight, work our way towards the base. The only thing we're missing on this run is some sort of recovery element, like hull repair drone, but I think we're in a very good spot. Okay, combat two is not a joke. That's why. Let's hit uh, weapons first here. Okay, feeling better already. All right, I'm going to go... Let's actually board into the weapons now so the repair doesn't happen, and I'll hit the med bay when they roll over. Okay, that's good. Seventy-four, nice. Well, Daisy left, more one. Repair stations, free scrap, I'm in. Ooh, Sector 8 store, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Would this cost? Drones are 45 plus 70. 105. Power. My gut is kind of telling me here to buy defense 2 as well and then do defense 1, defense 2. And really thinking about it, the, the shield recharge booster is probably as effective as that. Defense 1, Defense 2 also kind of uh, have a conflict, too. Probably best off just buying some power. Or an engine here. Yeah, I don't really plan on boarding on phase one. Let's buy engine level two here and... Okay, one more power bar just in case. Okay. Another repair. Could have attempted to leave this repair till after the fight, but that is that's asking for trouble, I think. 45 for drones, I'll buy that after because I want to use those phase three. Alright. Phase one beginneth. First things first, where is this gonna land? Looking for where the defense drone is aiming. Looks to me like it's aiming. It engines? Uh, I'm let this fire. Okay, it was coming at drones. I thought it was going at weapons. 
Okay, it's tilting back this way. I'm gonna let this one through. Okay, my teleporter being hacked is not a problem. Now, the million dollar question, do I mind control the person repairing on shields or do I mind control the pilot? I'm gonna mind control the pilot. Okay, that was a really weak hit. That's tough. At least we got a better hit that time on the time we can do a double volley. Man, they've hit with all six ions so far. Hmm. Wish you wouldn't. Yes, that's it right there. Okay, beam drones coming online right now. Nice. Considering our first volley was almost a complete whiff, that went excellent. Kitties are pretty cool indeed, Kuji. Pretty cool. Okay, we're going to wait to fight them at the base phase two, and I really don't have... Anything I need more scrap for. Let's just wait here, which is the safest play. Slug B, I'm okay with being safe. Alright. Might as well do this. No harm in it. Good hit. And fires. Yeah, get liquefied, dude. Hell yeah, I'm just gonna pull back now. Let's go level two oxygen. Let's open the door. Actually, you know what? Let's close the door. We can let that one go. Let's load the beam drone. I'm gonna finish this fight even faster. Oh, hey, I just really got opportunity here. Cool. Alright, you need healed. You need healed. And engineers in here. Yo, Dead Orchid G, thanks for almost 70 months of continuous support. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much for that resubscription. All right, phase three. Now we're going to forego the defense drone to go full offensive. Counter mind control will not be boarding here. They also have very few borders themselves, so I think this should be a pretty clean phase three.
Cool, by the time we get back to the... Next storm be good here. I'm curious where this mind control is going to go. Okay, shield guy is mind controlled. Uh, I'm actually going to run the rock over here to defend this. I'm going to mind control their pilot so I can get a better volley. Glad I did. Okay, he's in the battery. Who cares? Okay, that's that's gonna be it right there, believe it. Hell yeah, slug B victory feels nice cause it is nice. Whew. FTL really made me work for those last two runs. I'm going to say our score is like 5,500 on this one. Yeah. 55, 55 is my guess. Oh, no, 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 no. See so a 5200 gas over there. Mm. Brave, brave guess. Sixty-one ninety-three, as much higher than I thought. Why was it so high? 44 ships defeated, 106 beacons explored, and 2,189 scrap collected. That's why, right there. That's a lot of scrap. Makes sense. At one point in Sector 5, I did have 435 scrap on hand. I had a lot of stuff I needed to buy at stores, but still, 435 scraps a lot. Not too shabby. Any ship types I have no victories on. Federation and Lanius is it. So we should probably do one of those next. As far as ships that are really difficult without hacking, we've kind of uh, got rid of the majority. Rock A is questionable. Stealth ships without hacking, also very questionable. NGB, sketchy. Maybe Zoltan C2, but pretty good. Slug B was definitely one I was concerned about. Uh, score collected does not count any cell value on the run. Only scrap you got from events. Let's do like Federation C next. But not right now. I think I think two grueling runs of FTL is gonna be my limit for today, though we still have a lot of stream left. Believe that. Let's head into some Nova Drift for right now. I got a build I wanna show y'all. Probably head into the Splunky 2 daily here in a little bit, but. Hey, 
They were very fun runs indeed. All right, here we go. So I had a build the other day uh, off stream and do like one run <laughs> off stream per week. Uh, I had an idea. It was really good, but it didn't quite make it where I wanted to go. So I'm going to try to replicate the build. So the idea with this build is that we take more projectiles via the convergence route and then have mines that have a ton of projectiles in them. I'm going to go for orbital shield on this. Uh, I like orbital shield defensive capabilities a lot. Dara didn't give us our ship twice. Architect, there it is. Okay, this is a mine build, yep. And just getting mines here means our early game's a lot easier on Architect. I'm going to say a little early for loaded mines. Let's take uh, elegant construction, though. Okay, we'll take any piece of warp strike here. When I did this build offline, I did it without warp strike, and it was actually still very effective, but um, uh, warp strike's very good with this build. I'm sure of it. What I like about orbital shield is if you're not going to upgrade shield very much, or if you are going to upgrade shield even, is that the larger the orbs get, the better their ability to straight up remove enemy projectiles is, which is a huge defensive capability. And to that note, I may want a conversion into shields. Let's just go ahead and grab a skirmish here. Hey, hey, what's up, Fezzik? Okay, I'll take Terminate. Again, terminate there because it doesn't open up any different paths. It just keeps it simple. Letting my shield cooldown happen here. Not necessarily too early for loaded mines, but let's take self-destruction here. This is one half of the piece for burnout reactors. One nice thing about doing an architect mine build is you're under no rush to be loading the mines. They're so good just by themselves. All right, let's go targeting now. Uh, the dot, I don't believe, does trigger Terminate. Maybe it does. But since you're always applying new darts, it's kind of hard to tell, I guess. It's the, the truth, Fezzik. I can say that dart and Terminate is a good combination together. I'm sure on that. Okay, this puts burnout reactors in already. Let's go Guidance, though, because now we can get that Convergence, possibly. Okay, here's a piece of Warp Strike.
All right, I'll take Candescence. It's a very good dart damage. Uh, I'll take Essence Sap, I guess. Isn't my primo pickup here, but it will work later in the build. Okay, they're pretentious. Well, Convergence is very nice for damage right now, but uh, I should probably take Deadly Wake. No, let's take Convergence now. Not good for our damage right now, but it will be. Ooh, Mind Specialist off the bat? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. The mines are way better damage than our darts right now. Wow. Okay, burnout reactors twice as fast mines now. Not twice as fast, 30% faster. Um, okay, I'm gonna reroll. Okay, here's Snipe, this is another piece of Warp Strike, let's go. be keeping my shield in this case. I'm going to take shield durability and then I'm going to try to convert uh, some of my HP into my shields. The reason I'm doing it this way rather than going into health, which is better for regeneration, is I can get larger potential orbs on the shield, which is better um, for killing off projectiles. That's the idea anyways. All right, minefield's definitely part of this too. Now we're gonna be blapping out mines like nobody's business. <laughs> it's almost like we have like a scorching wake style effect with this. Pretty wild. Okay, let's take efficiency. I bet there's a build you can do on Architect like this where you only load in mines, regular mines, and you just leave it like this. I mean, this is a very significant source of damage, uh, especially versus boss-style enemies. Hell, a hidden power regular mines build could be an idea. All right, Revelation. Yeah, get more blast radius and mine effect, you're right, it would be nuts.
I still plan on loading these mines, though. The corrosion's a big step up for darts, damage-wise. That's kind of chunky. What's open behind this window? Steam's open behind this window. Okay. Nova Drift, in my experience, does not like things running behind the game window. Okay, I'll take magnitude. No, I'll take streamline. There we go. There we go. Have some mines, bud. On the house. Free blappins for everybody. Wow. All right, rate of fire, I'm in. Yo, Tazrin, thanks for four months. Appreciate that prime continuation. Cheers. Glad you're still enjoying it. Uh, all these are really good, but I think I'm going to take conversion at this moment. Going to put 30% of my maximum hole into maximum shields. Now I have 171 shield. That's fun. Really curious about the efficiency of this build with uh, blast radius and like railgun now. This is an idea. Okay, this regression gets rid of nothing. Let's just grab Blink here. Uh, Blink, we now have Warp Strike in the pool. And after we get Warp Strike, I will load mines. I mean, three times evolutionary niche improves the mines, so yes. Could also hold out and hope for stonks because just purification or even magnitude right now is pretty awesome.
Hey, fit like. Thanks for that twenty-five dollar donation earlier at the end of our FTR run. Sorry for missing that one. As a reminder, I have no alerts playing in my ears. I will add you to the forever naming game list right now. You are currently at the. Actually, let me find where I was at. You will be at number. One fourteen below empty right now. Fit like. Take purification. I'm ready. That was a really nice reward screen. Everything there was awesome. Warp Strike, hell yeah, dude. Warp Strike's not gonna look very impressive right now, but once we load the mines, oh boy. Hang out right here real quick. Dang it, mis misposition. Hey, don't bump me, dude, that's pretty rude. Pretty rude, don't you think? I got all twisted there. Hey there, Dr. Brock. All right, it's not what I want, but Warpath is a good mod. time this way, but it's less safer than trying to lay the mines while he's firing at us. Yo, Leaf on the Wind's pretty dope. I'm gonna take that. Size down, up to 50% global damage for not taking damage. Sign me up. One thing I like about this Architect Mine build is there's no rush to load the mines. We can even wait longer if we want to. No, loading them at this time would be a massive global damage up, which is where I want to go. Wow, weapon mastery too. I still don't have magnitude. That's nuts. Let's just take Weapon Mastery. Let's get it done. Well, that's fun. A little tasty old medicine, bud. Get a coffee. I'm getting another glass of cold burning. I was critically under caffeinated yesterday. Critically. Tip 
surprised I didn't get a headache, to be honest. Alright, loaded mine time. There we go. They're going to be a little bit slower, but as you can see, our global damage just went way up, because now there's mines going over the entire screen all the time. I did this one without taking Warp Strike one time, and it was very interesting, because the there's 40% less velocity on darts, so you can kind of get away without having Warp Strike. Kind of. Not quite a one cycle, but pretty close. Okay, that's basically a one cycle. Adjust my keyboard stand real fast. There it is. Let's take barrier. Maximum damage being 25 to shields when I have over 170 shields seems good. Kitty behind my PC. The answer to that question was yes, there was a kitty behind my piece. Great emote there, Jeff. I like that one. You know what? Everything here can get banished. I think uh, another 7% size down sounds awesome, as does getting 7 more rerolls. Let's go. Great win -oh. Definitely could have worked Calibrate into the build, but it's not a piece that I need.
Okay, magnitude's pretty big step up here for damage. Let's go. Also makes our darts bigger so they persist longer, so more of our warp strike darts can do their thing. We are a small lad indeed, Fatal Hobo. Big time. I'm going to take last stand here. I don't like taking it that much because we're not really going to utilize the resurrection portion. But since we're doing darts over 100% of the screen, including enemies that are spawning in the sides, the extra XP pickup should net us about a level. And it puts my mind at ease that we're not losing a lot of XP. As the screen becomes larger and larger as the game goes on, that also becomes increasingly valuable. All right, shield effect radius I could definitely use. Stabilization I kind of want, but why do I want it? For the plus thrust. There's not much tier one stuff left. Shield effect radius is really about the only one I could feasibly banish. That and what else? Regeneration, maybe? No, uh, regenerative shields could be good here, too. After I get Essence Sap. Let's not regress. Let's just take Stabilization. Percentage-based thrust increase is def defensive capability. Uh, Maelstrom is generally considered very good Ironmonger uh, in conjunction with some other uh, other mods and shield type can be very good. I haven't really done the build for it, but there is a hidden power build out there um, that I've seen on the Nova Drift Discord that uh, reliably gets three to four million or more with Maelstrom. I'm just not very experienced with it myself. I think the general opinion is it's very good, but only for a few specific purposes. All right, 20% fire rate, I'm all about it. It's a lot more darts per mine. There's not really a chance for enemies to avoid darts on this one, I concur. You enter my section of the galaxy, you're going to have a dart stuck in you. Facts.
the downs of this? Like, so, projectile damage and size down. It's not too bad. I mean, really, for what we have right now, this should be a step up in damage. A big step up in damage. I'm going to take Gemini Protocol to get us ready for Essence Sap, though, because we're clearly not hurting for clear ability. Getting a little more survivability would be awesome. Okay, payload is huge damage. Let's just get payload working right now, because it increases the dart size, which will increase the lifespan of the dart. It means more of the darts that explode from mines will eventually find a target and still have enough lifespan left to deal some damage. Payload and darts is just bread and butter. It's one of the largest damage increases for the weapon type. Let me read the dart tooltip real quick. Darts have a base duration of two seconds modified by size and ignite duration. So yeah, projectile size and ignite duration is it. That's why purification is so good because it has plus 30% ignite duration. Unfortunately, three ricochets is a bit much here. So it'd be at minus 45% projectiles. Yeah, that's too much. One ricochet would be awesome. Three ricochets is too much. Let's do a regression here. I think I'm okay losing adaptive armor. Yeah, I'll do that. Just to get the level back. Um, Shield cooldown sounds fine. 
building this much more balanced than most of my dart builds. But the idea is that we have enough global damage. If we can just survive long enough, everything dies. Essence Sap Omni Shield is two of the levels I need left. Probably a variation of this build that goes 100% offensive. I just haven't met it yet. the celestial here first we have enough time to do this yeah we're good that was a very fortunate wave 200 like when they do that oh the mine exploded right on his body that's tough that's tough bud I got 15 rerolls right now. Choose a couple. Oh, there's Omni Shield. Let's get Essence Sap before Omni Shield. Also, Volley looks pretty good, man. Three times Challenger, way too much. This would be really good if I got a good enough loaded mine. Right now it's very nasty though. Wow, this isn't I was gonna take Omni Shield now. I already have Essence Sap, thanks. I missed that. Uh, yeah, I've done that one a half dozen times myself, Coda. Three times challengers is too much challenger at once. disjointed on that wave, but staying alive. Last time I got here, I took Sanctuary, which was a mistake. Alright, I'm probably not going to do better than three times Evolutionary Niche. Let's just slap this up right now. That is 15% Construct Assembly Speed and Construct Rate of Fire. A lot of darts. Oh, hello, Glaucius. How you been? How you been? I got an okay Glaucius build. 
Yeah, Sanctuary can work pretty good, but for the amount of stuff you invest in Sanctuary, it's it's a lot. I think if Sanctuary did not have the minus thrust associated with it, it'd be a lot cooler to use. I saw it described once as basically giving your enemies temporal shields, and that's not a not a bad way to look at it because it slows you down so much. This makes the enemies scale to their critical speed faster. Hell of a defensive perk, though. I agree, Coda. 100% offense builds get punished pretty hard. I mean, they always have, but I, I, I wholeheartedly agree that <laughs> they do very much on this this patch, the experimental patch. The, some of the new enemy types are very unforgiving to offensive-only builds, as they should be. Yeah, I mean, agility is really nice for turning and stuff. Strafe wouldn't be bad either. Let's just add in some more mobility for the end of this build. We're already level 46, so, you know, it, we're probably getting to level 50 at most. Pretty big fan of agility. That's right, more Drew they are. Ataraxia was changed in the experimental patch. Yo, Valavis, thanks for six and a half years, 78 months. Appreciate that. Glad you could make it for a portion of our all-day Sunday stream. Looks well, good, Valavis.
Uh, I think the Singularity gets this one. Yep. I'll probably take volley if I see it next. I think it's a very good escalation of the offense. Ooh, spicy hit there. Well, you know, on cue, it shows up. Volley. We lose projectile damage and a little size and velocity, but the plus two projectiles is a lot more projectiles, like probably eight more projectiles per mine right now with the current mine effect that I have. For single target especially, that's gonna be a large percentage increase in damage as darts do scale per dart stuck in the enemy. Yeah, we got projectiles. You've been spritzing. Big button of boom. Yo, RN Grizzly, thanks for 60 months. Thanks for bringing that broccoli with you. We appreciate that around here. Look at this wiggly arm fella. Dang. Level up. Okay. Regeneration into regenerative shields could definitely be cool. Shields regenerate at a rate proportional to maximum shield. I'm gonna do a roll. Eh. One, two, three, four, five, six wild mods. Put me at five orbs. I'm gonna go straight here. I think Splinter is rather unnecessary.
Splinter would be nice, but I don't think we're having any problem clearing uh, the mini waves, which is what I like about Splinter. I think we have plenty enough darts that we're kind of creating our own Splinter effect in a way. Time will tell. Ooh, that's my shields. Okay. Let's use a moment here to get our shield back. Okay, shield cooldown went off. We're safe again. Yes, yeah, I have Apache Prime. So that way was brutal. Two down, looking good. Ooh, another triple celestial wave, dang. Making me work for it, that's for certain. I might as well take stonks because if we get another level, that'd be a very uh, great thing to have. Okay, pretty tame wave 300, I would say. Doesn't mean we won't die to it, just means it's uh, one of the easier combos we could have gotten, I think. He's down now. Get our shield back. Okay, shield's back. Right into Seraph. Okay.
I could make level 50 here, I'd be very happy. Oh, I think I take more evolutionary niche should be the premium take. Uh, I also, I mean, you can do exclam beta in the chat to see the beta branch information. We are playing on beta branch right now. I also play on the live branch too, but as the uh, new contents only in the experimental beta branch, I've been jamming this for a fair bit. All you really gotta do is opt into the beta via the Steam page. Everybody, everybody can do it. Quarters of the way to level 50. Hell yeah. I see way boy. Here's where that corrosion perk comes in huge. All that burning damage passing in between the different segments. Very much prefer that version of the Celestial Wave to the one where they spawn in separately, because then they're on an opposite timing. That's difficult. Okay, ho! There it is. Four times evolutionary niche. So this is an additional 20% uh, construct assembly speed and mine effect. That's literally the one we want. We're now at 254% assembly speed modifier. Sign me up. Darts, I got him. One of our first hyper boosts this run. Where are you going, Winston? Ooh, hi, bed, Winston. That's nice. Oh, nope. He's reversing it. He's going, he's going to the square bed. Is there a bro, bro up there right now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You woke up your bro, 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 bro.
Oh, he's jiggling mad. Let's just not get stuck on the other side of him and die. He's got one mega blast wave ready for me right now. Cool, got my shield back. Every time my shield gets below half, I get worried. Greetings, wiggly arm fella. Greetings. Galaxy with the double comet, nice. Looks like it might make level fifty one, awesome. Cool. All right, what's left? You want to reroll? Displacements, no. Firing arrays, no. Pulse of munitions, probably not. Honestly, kinetic boost, global damage increases your speed does. Pretty good. We are moving around and... Global damage applies to all the darts stuck at enemies, so I guess we're gaining at least a percentage damage off of that. Take it. Good, I got my shield back. I mean, seven evolutionary niche is pretty off the chart for this build, but I don't feel like getting back to this point with this particular build is that difficult. If I see the tooltip again, uh, I will read it for you, Fezzik, but that is just not how firing array works. It incrementally decreases both size and damage moving outward. So three projectiles or four projectiles is basically the sweet spot for it. Okay, we are right here? Might be. Okay, I got my shield back. Hell yeah. Scary, dude. Okay. Getting wild now. Getting wild.
Um, not really, uh, Rajra. Pretty much the same, as long as the difficulty is the same. Can be a variance of maybe 10, 20,000, debating on if you miss some XP or whatnot. XP is worth more the longer the game's going on, so you get a lot more for these later waves than you do the earlier waves. I've never seen a variance of more than 50,000 at wave 200, though. Bravado can skew it a little bit, too, with uh, more elite spawning. Oh, God. Okay, not dead, not dead. Whoa, -ho, he bumped me. Okay, still alive for now. There's no avoiding that one. So if I would have had emergency systems, I would have been saved, albeit temporarily there. Interesting, Mr. Smee. I didn't realize Bravado provided that much of a difference. I believe it, though. Elites and champions do have a fair bit more XP. Emergency systems would have been through the Aegis route. Hey, broke three mil. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely on the leaderboard here. Big time. All right, Apotheosis. You no longer collide with enemies, targets, and most celestial hazards. Sure. Sure, let's go. Not having enemies bump into us might allow us to survive a little longer. somehow that's cool dead 3.1 one million hell of a run hell of a run hey sanity thanks for 84 months appreciate that seven years of support thank you well there you have it that was our where was it that was our second best run of nova drift ever Second best ever. 
I'm not unconvinced that you could not pull off this build without Warp Strike because 40% less velocity on darts would mean that the mines exploding would have time to turn most of the darts into uh, enemies. Not, not unconvinced. All right, we're going to do one more run of Nova Drifts. Let's get these restroom real fast, then we'll hop into another one. After that, probably Spelunky 2 Daily, and then we'll take it from there. Uh, give me just a moment to uh, stretch out real fast, and then we will do it again. What good kidders we got. Stinky and Dinky, the dream team. All right, same idea here, just slightly different execution. Different formula. Okay, let's not take the Omni Shield route this time. I'm going to go for Amp Shield. And Architect. There we go. Maybe not as pretty darts, but they will be more effective. Also improves our thrust. So we have better maneuverability late game. We will have to find other routes to make ourselves more defensible, though. I just think by keeping our shield and hull um, as an average here, we're going to have a good time. Okay, definitely mines. I guess the point I'm being very long-winded about is I think I can build that last build even more concise. I definitely want minefield at the end of this, I'm sure, because you get 50% mine assembly speed for only 25% mine effect down. Let's take uh, not velocity this time. No, no warp strike coming in. I want to see how these darts work without warp strike, and I think it'll be pretty good because we're going to generate a lot of darts that are slow and then can home towards enemies. So if we're controlling the central portion of the screen, we're going to be in a good place to do that. All right, definitely elegant construction is going to happen. I would say burnout reactors is a key component of this. And elegant construction makes mines go faster and faster as you level, too.
I believe Volley's correct. These kitties, though. Dinky and dinky. Best buds forever. Maybe I can get away with just stabilization and improved thrusters. Huh. Alright, definitely improved thrusters. I know Streamline's going to be a part of this. Or maybe I even cut Streamline because we have Amp Shield, but I definitely want improved thrusters. Alright, let's take Skirmish here. I love taking Evolutionary Niche on Architect, but I'd rather get... Uh, a multiplier for recursive wild mod before doing so. I'm down with maximum mobility here. Let's go. Thighs down, also a valuable stat here. Thought I saw a mine specialist there for a second. Not quite. Okay, blink, yep. Hell of a blink reticle there. That's a that's a long blink. Yeah, I don't need to load mines yet, but I also don't need to get uh, Warp Strike before I load the mines. But I'm not going to go Warp Strike. I suppose loading these anytime is fine. Maybe the truly correct time to load mines on this build is after picking up the last stand mod. I don't want to re-roll yet, but I'm gonna. Okay, okay. Indescence. I love the effect of the mines going off inside of something with darts. The cool little spiral of destruction.
All right, terminate. I think essence sap is an immediate goal for this build. All right, Guidance, awesome. So 20% velocity down and increased homing on the mines. So now, as long as the mines don't explode on the very edge of the screen, they should have a pretty good time reaching enemies or finding enemies to hit. I'm going to take Convergence here, uh, adds more projectiles per mine, and makes them home even better, albeit smaller now. Yeah, you can see just how small or slow these are. I think this is a very viable way to cut Warp Strike out of this. Oh yeah! Explosive growth! I would take Evolutionary Niche to 4x, even if it vanished from the pool now. Sure Essence Sap, let's go. Need some magnitude payload in our lives right now. We have essence to apps of Gemini protocols a target now. There's Gemini Protocol. Our defense is basically done. I may add more into it, but now our damage is split between our hull and shields, and we have a very steady health regeneration via Essence Sap. I'll take shield cooldown here. Shield cooldown is going to continue being very good defensively. The 
our dart lifespan right now is very weak due to the small size of the dart. Can fix that though very easily. Purification and just size up like magnitude payload are both going to get the job done. Yo, I'm going to take Death Blossom here. We can work towards that. Okay, so now when our shield explodes or goes down, uh, we will release a bunch of darts. I wonder how this would work with infusion. Okay. Well, I wasn't gonna go twin strike here, but I am now. Them's a lot of projectiles, my dude. So it's gonna make our shield cooldown a crawl, but our essence snap regeneration is still all right here. So maybe this is beneficial for the route I'm trying to go with the death blossom. Doesn't seem shabby. Uh, I should probably conversion now. I'm not going to go into more shields. This makes my shield smaller and therefore more likely to break, triggering Death Blossom and gives us higher HP for better essence sap regeneration. Probably been a bit overzealous on my conversion takes as of late, but I just recently learned how it actually works and it's pretty exciting. I always thought it was just a. Uh, a thing that happened on the fly, but it's a one-time conversion as long as you keep both your hole and shields. So it's a way to amplify regeneration or make one bar much bigger than the other, which is usually what you want if you're not if you're keeping both. Oh snap! It didn't went today. Okay, this is a pretty tough wave. I really want magnitude, but uh, weapon mastery will do in a pinch.
Twin Strikes now in the ultra rare wild mod category, so very happy to have seen it. I would love to winnow here, but I know better. Let's go ahead and take whole strength. Actually, do I have Deadly Wake at the moment? I don't. I'm open to getting flash shielding here, big time. Tempest Break, uh, Discharge, Death Blossoms, definitely a thing. I think maximum whole strength right now, though, is what I want, because it makes my uh, Essence Sap Regeneration better. Yo, Avador, I think so that tier 2 24 month subscription. Glad you've been enjoying the content for so long. Thank you. Oh, here's Firing Array. If you're still here, uh, Fezzik gonna read this. 20% total projectile damage and blast radius for your central projectile. Other projectiles also receive... Adjustments to total projectile damage and blast radius incrementally decreasing to 0% for your outermost projectiles. So this is all positive. Everything is good here, but this right here, 30% total projectile size for your central projectile. Your other projectiles also receive adjustments to total projectile size incrementally decreasing to minus 30% for your outermost projectiles. So every projectile except for your central projectile receives a size down. Which is very bad for darts. Okay, magnitude finally. Needed that. I think the next to do is to get Death Blossom rolling with Discharge. And we have Burnout Reactors also a target right now. Glaucious, okay. Payload gonna help. Give me the loop. Hell yeah. I feel like this is performing just as fine as the Warp Strike one was for clearing anyways. To my own detriment, I do often spend some time towards the end of the screen, but it's my fault.
Ooh. Uh, that's decent, but it locks us out of emergency systems. That's tough. Let's not regress here. Let's roll, in fact. How do I feel about this one? What's the other side of the absorption tree? Juggernaut? Okay. Probably live with that absorption. Because this banish looks really primo. Let's go. You see that death blossom though? I did. I'm not dead yet. Wow, this guy's like a gargantuan. Get this little guy down. Like look how, look how big those flames are. This is like a super elite class of this unit. Yeah, this is a super elite. This is as large as this guy can get. Basically, challenger class. Mine specialist? Yep. Yep. Cool, and with this, uh, we're now over the threshold of the Spelunky 2 daily resetting, so we're just going to confirm that after this run. I think I am going to have to take a little break from Spelunky 2 over the next couple weeks, though. My thumb's being a little funky again. Not bad, but I recognize the signs when it's time to take a break. Been doing a lot of other general work with my hands, too, so no surprise they're sore. Here's Deadly Wake, which is a piece of getting Tempest Break, which would be very nice here, but... Purification makes our darts last 30% longer. Gotta do it. Gotta have it. went Ouroboros on that one. Alright, taking Revelation here, because three times, I don't know, let's say Evolutionary Niche, or three times Burst Fire would be really good here.
All right, Propulsion Submission sounds nice, but it is adds weapon recoil, which really devastates us. I'm going to go for... Hmm. Let's go for self-destruction to put burnout reactors in the pool. This may be one of those builds where there's a lot of things I want, but I don't make everything. Yeah, it does idle time, and they become increasingly larger for each one summoned at once. So, like, the third challenger is, like, half the size of the screen. It's a really funny way to die, but I'll just say taking anything more than one challenger at a time is very dangerous. You'll probably die, but it'll be fun. I think emergency systems is very worth getting. Especially if I'm going to be dropping my shield periodically off of Tempest Break Discharge, which seems to still be within the realm of possibility. Yep, seeing this now, this build does not need Warp Strike to excel. Alright, Burnout Reactor is 30% faster, Mine Generation, yep. And Mine Effect, that's more darts and uh, faster darts too. That's probably fair, Mordrew. Not a good time to be a snake. At least not in this section of the universe. Not volatile shields. Um, we saw how good last stand was last time. I probably should take last stand with what this build is. Just getting into Aegis Emer Emergency Systems, not bad either. I could also fish right now for... They take shield cooldown. I so I still need two the two pieces for Tempest Break. Maybe Tempest Break isn't a goal here. All right, let's take Last Stand. This will increase our orb collection radius as of the experimental patch. That effect got moved from Ataraxia into Last Stand, which I think is very fair. The screen gets bigger, and the more we're killing stuff on the edge of screen, the less XP we'll leave behind from that. I'd be very surprised if it doesn't result in at least a return in the level we took. And on last run, we got over 100,000 score after we resurrected with last stand. That was cool. This build doesn't even have burst fire yet.
Yeah, that's too much. 45% projectile down is too much, man. Too much. Um, I'm going to pick up Deadly Wake. Actually, you know what? Maybe not. I think I'm going to leave Death Blossom as it is. I haven't gotten to Flash Shielding yet, so I'm going to take Deadly Wake and Flash Shielding. Surely we can get some better value than that. Warpath is nice. Oh, Discord orb's pretty spicy here. Got 20 rerolls though, let's chill. Man, three times double tap is good. Okay, there's burst fire. That's a huge damage increase. 20% fire rate is 20% more darts out of the mines. Not to mention that we're getting three iterations of our uh how many, how many projectiles? Nine. So instead of firing nine projectiles at a time, we're firing 27 at a time. At a slightly lower rate, but not really. It's still a significant damage up, or fire rate up. Regress do anything here? I guess I should probably just regress to remove this from the pool. Let's. The only thing that would lower velocity here would be heavy caliber, but that doesn't really work for us because it provides knockback. All right, I'm gonna go Aegis. I think Emergency Systems is a really keen take on this. We haven't had a, a like a build catastrophe yet, but eventually something gets you, so uh, it's gonna be a good idea to grab some velocity. Or not velocity, velocity on the brain. I mean, if you, you build something like this, maybe without burst fire, and then you added uh, just a ton of heavy calibers, you could have some really massive dart mines that would maybe even be more effective than your offense as an idea. This 
has been an awesome all-day Sunday stream so far. Those runs at FTL were so good. Oh, man. dude okay um I really should have targeted this guy first but my mistake goes unpunished because we're an offensive juggernaut right now oh we haven't taken Leaf on the Wind yet, let's go. Up to 50% global damage for not taking damage for 60 seconds. I mean, clearly we're going to take damage, but it's always going to provide some form of global damage up. Probably usually in the 2-5% to range, but enough. And sometimes much, much more than that. Three times burst strike is 21% uh, fire rate up and would give us a volley of 54 darts. Still think evolutionary niche is a lot better, but I'm open to this idea. Emergency systems, here we go. Charge shots also interesting here. Charge up our 27 darts. Not going to be doing that for this attempt, but I like the idea a lot. that bad blink love that none of the rail gunners got to fire on wave 229 mute
Things are rated which you kill those juggernaut style enemies is uh, everything you need to know about your current damage state. If those are going well, you're doing very good on damage. Rolling. Rolling. Okay, bravado would be what? Well, it's more XP, and it's also body gear powers improved by 15%, so that's 7.5% rate of fire for constructs and construct assembly speed. Alright, sign me up. This will almost assuredly be the reason the run dies, because only elite and champion enemies now. It means some biggie boys. I got bonkity bonkin' big time, dude. The thing I'm really liking about not having War Strike is I'm much more free to use the uh, the edge of the map to avoid enemies and damage. That was one of the issues on that Omni Shield build I did last time, which was still our second best run ever. But if I could point out a small issue, is that losing 15% of like 180 uh, field bar is very. That's a lot of damage. Stabilization into agility now is probably not bad. I'm going to take this just for stabilization. Just to have space breaks and to have more thrust. How <laughs> many projectiles off that death blossom? Hot day. Here's the cup. What level are we at right now? 47. Uh, seems unlikely I'll get Temper Break going. Uh, that's alright. Death Blossom's still a pretty fun pick, even without it. Hurt. 
the staggered celestial waves, the toughy dude. I see either burst fire or evolutionary niche. I'm going to take them in my next set of levels because I'm, I'm holding on to that three times next recursive wild mod still. Why do I keep doing this? I keep going down here, and if I get bumped, he blasts me from the other side. Oh yeah, hubris, that's why. I remember now. Oh lordy. One coming around the other side? No. Okay, at least they're in a similar... Um, adding right now. I will level up after this wave. Thank you very much. Okay, now it's fine. Yo, agility looks pretty keen. Dat of armor is not bad either. Okay, I'll just take agility here. Being able to turn faster means I can blink more effectively and also maneuver in between projectiles a lot more nicely, which becomes increasingly relevant as the game expands. Big butter boom. Okay, there goes the death blossom. Am I dead? I am not dead. Not yet. Nearly almost dead. Doesn't even count, dude. I would say no warp strike on this build has been a total non-issue. I never had there's not been a single wave where I was like, oh wow, that would have been a lot nicer with warp strike. And considering we we're able to cut three perks to not have that, it's a lot of perks. is going on here. Okay, I see it now. I see it now. Yeah, agility was amazing right there. Huge. 
Wave 300. It's a very fortunate Wave 300. Cover my shield, please. Thank you. That's right, deranged optician. One HP is the only important one. Last one you need. again uh there's that double tap evolutionary knee should be so much nicer because it'd basically be like getting fire rate and construction speed at the same time i'm gonna fish a little bit yeah. all right i'm gonna take three times farsight here that's cool Especially since we're not using Warp Strike, do we get a higher efficiency rating off of the Farsight? We are taking more damage from enemies, but 21% um, larger playfield size. Not a small stat. This feasibly gives us better control over the central portion of the map, which is the most important with these radiating mines. That also means that if we're near the center of the map on the waves that spawn the Shredder Mines, which I think is probably one of the most dangerous waves late game, that we get more time for the Shredder Mine projectiles to degenerate and do less damage to us. Very positive effect. Alright, 2.2. It was turned out a lot better than I imagined it would. I knew it was going to be good based on the last one, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. Calm down with that, would ya? Never experienced that one before. 
Gonna be a staggered celestial wave, yeah. Okay, only two though, that's good. Uh, 10% thrust sounds pretty good. Challenger sounds very deadly. You know what? I'm going to take adaptive armor right now. We take damage, we gain an armor stack, which is like 1% damage reduction down. More armor stacks you have, the less damage reduction each stack offers, but at the end of the day, it's just a damage reduction after you take damage. And we'd be taking damage for certain. Wave scary. Kind of in love with this build. Again, I don't think this build's actually that hard to get to. Like, if um, he's want to have a nice high score run, I think my main excuse me, complication with um, Architect Dart before is I didn't want to take the extra. I kept trying to not take the extra projectiles, and. Um, the projectiles are very good. I thought to myself, oh, bigger darts will be more damage and we get so much mine effect anyways. But the truth is adding two projectiles when you have mines like this is really like adding eight to ten projectiles per mine. This sucks. dead well it wasn't much to be done there that is a really brutal combination for this particular build there it is 2.588 did not quite make the leaderboard but hell of a run man hell of a run all right give me one sec you're just gonna plug in my controller and we'll head over to this Spelunky 2 daily still got some meat left in this all day sunday stream We'll be back in just a second. It's going to plug in and swap on over.
All right, it's getting loaded up here. Swapping the capture. Swapping the title. All right, let's get Penguin in hand, then I'm going to set up a prediction. Whether we make it to Cosmic Ocean or not on this run. I think at the 8 hour, 15 minute mark of the stream, I'm going to take a little break. That's probably a good idea, too. S'more's having a real tough day. He's in the window right now, and he's just, he's just warm. That's tough. I'm not sure he can move right now. Dang. Tough being a little guy. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Take it from little J. All right, everyone. Uh, I'm just going to stand up, stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water, eat some fresh bread. That sounds good. Uh, I'm going to start a prediction right now for will the run make it to Cosmic Ocean or not? I'm going to put 15 minutes on this prediction. I'll, uh, I'll be back in just about five minutes, maybe eight at most. I'll take my first real break of the stream. Uh, it's going to stand up once again. Uh, I will throw on a cat cam here. There's kitty cams. It's tough being a little guy. It's tough. Well, enjoy that. Uh, I'll be back in just a couple minutes once again. What's going on with that tail, bud? What's going on with the tail, bud? Hold on. Let's zoom, let's zoom in on this. We're zooming. What a cutie patootie. Chopper77, thanks for 12 months. Enjoy the most community and ad-free viewing. Appreciate that continuation. Be back in just a couple minutes.
All right. These cats are out of control. And I got five of them. Five of them. It's time for a penguin in the hole. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. Let's see how this goes. Architraz, thanks for 28 months. Appreciate you. Time for some penguin into the hole. Perfect toss. Dung beetle going up the shaft, but how high is it going to make it? Okay, I threw it early because the cricket was there. I didn't want to squash him. Still is a good toss. All right, 180 turnaround chair, sit down, cricket toss. Okay, a little bit long both ways. Try it again. I was at the wrong spot to start. There it is. That's why we warm up. All right, daily challenge begins right now. Okay, it's gonna be either a connector through the left here, okay it is, or a dead end. Oh, you're all good, tight note, and just please, uh, no preemptive GG's. That's always been a thing for me, nothing personal. And you're definitely not in trouble. Just a perch. No sweat. Oh, okay. This is the part that doesn't connect. Got it. Got it. Dude, I get the damsel turned in, a lucky rock, and the urn. Yep. Dude, Jay's on point with this rock today. Ooh. Okay, me like, but I also don't see any sacrifice point action happening right now. That's some action. Okay, so right now, two ropes to get eight sacrifice points. Uh, could also do one bomb, one rope. Anything else? Uh, not really. Okay, two ropes to get halfway. I'm gonna take that. We'll have to be very particular about that. Ooh, there is a back layer entrance here. Let's check it out. Excellent eye there, Spike. All right, yellow cape star. That should definitely alleviate some of the ropes we used, make it easier to get around. And, all right, three bombs from ton. I can get back out without using a rope. That's important. Oh, ho, ho, the legend of the Turkey Town heist. Spike's eagle eye making it happen. That was dope. <laughs> All right, halfway on Paula is more than good enough for me. How's it going down there, gang? Yeah, I'll help you look for the turkeys. Uh huh.
Ooh, look at this. Hello. Hello. I kind of want to try to go back up to get those lizards on the shrine. You could even get Kapali here. It's too late, though. Let's go. Yep, your voice echoes in here. There's arrow traps everywhere. Oh, my God. Okay, feeling better already. If I drop a rock down here, I can climb back up. I'm gonna do the same thing from the other side to just clear this out. No. Okay, keys here. Okay, I heard I heard squeakers. Good. There's squeakers. Gonna use a bomb here for my convenience. I believe that the key area is bottom right-ish. Gotta be over here. All right, juicy cup. Get. I can get down here and get an emerald. I remember. Okay, let's go find the key area. Gotta be down to the right here. We've seen everything else, clearly. Okay, getting late in here. I'm gonna take this, this, and this, bud. Thanks. Ooh. I am scared. Get me out of here, dude. I'm gonna grab this on the way out. That's money. You know, I'm gonna take a moment to chill after that. That was like, uh, that was a frantic level. It was what, six layers deep? I had to get the key and the damsel on the shrine four layers higher. We survived. Yo, thank you all for another hype train. Really appreciate it. Thank you all for the wonderful support and most importantly, the continued opportunity to be here, entertain you, share this time, enjoy these games. Your Giddy, thanks for 70 consecutive months. Random 2007, thanks for 103. And Pink Fane, thanks for 35 months. One more for three years. I think this level is going to be a bit of a hustle too with the Matic. I'm going to take anything large nugget or better because it's essentially a fresh Matic. There it is. Okay. 
Okay, nothing on this side is fair. I missed him, didn't I? Yes, I did. That's tough. And I keep missing this bomb. Didn't miss it that time. Take that, Bazingi. Just had to make it a trick shot. That's the easy way. Two hits for a gem, acceptable. I still have a minute left. Awesome. I still have this back layer to check out. Twenty seconds, okay. And I'm out of here. What a level. My man Jay putting on a Matic clinic. I missed the total money gain on that level. Did we catch it? Had to be over 50k, right? Definitely over 40. Damn. I think I just saw the rainbow appear over there. I did. Dun, 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 dun. 44k, thanks, Fire God. That sounds about right. I don't think I've had a 50k dwelling yet. Or 1 4, rather. Ow, me noggin. I was using that. I also have skeleton keys, so I can just check back here for nothing. Three free ropes just for having a skeleton key. Neat. Yeah, I was going to say this thing has to break soon. Let's just do this here.
Cool level, dude. He was like that when I got here. Buy out the black market, I'd say minimum 120k. There's a very large variance in what's available in total cost. Okay, I need to get in there. Let's do this now. I think. Hmm. Two bombs. I was going to use two bombs here. Yeah, I can probably cook one from the bottom, but what if I can't? the bow right there. It's going to move this out of the way. Kind of a weirdly low amount of gems and stuff back here. Not a complaint, just merely an observation. Yeah, not very much stuff back here at all. Actually get through here. I know I gotta go back for the bow. I'm just taking a quick look. Okay, here we go. A quick peek. Wouldn't be the first time I left without the bow, though. That's true. Little J, monkey assassin. Need to be on this level too, dang. He's got the touch, there's no question. I'll leave my bow here. This one usually has a burnable section. There it is. I'll reload. Cool level. I mean, I, I would like that, but dangerous black market, huh? They're really right here. Yeah, okay. That was a cool little platforming segment. I like that. Oh, it's not even the sister, you son of a gun. Alright, Bo's right outside the black market. We still have a lot to explore, including finding the sister. Might be able to see her on the top of the black market. There she is, bottom left.
All right, what's in the box? A bear trap. Cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a uh, little kitty up with us. There's probably a shrine on this level. Okay, not spike shoes yet. Ropes are awesome. Take compass, sure. Right, easy buyout. Pretty weak black market offering overall, though. Bow's right here. I'm not forgetting it. Okay, exit's right here as well. Sister's here. All right. That's the level. to the bottom layer. Well, we didn't need all the money we collected. That's okay, though. Sets us up for success on Tusk Gambling and the future challenges. Never hurts to have a little bit extra. Spelunky Bucks. Never check the hut on the top left of that previous level, but hmm. I don't think that was it. Is there anything actually over here? A bunch of critter blood, cool. I think I'm happy enough just surviving here. We got all three sisters. We're set up for Olmec in the hole with having climbing gloves. And we're off. There's Poochie. I do need Olmec in order to get that damsel. Oh, there's a crate up there. Interesting. Turn in the hamster here at Tide Pool. That's a lot of gems in the floor there. Dang.
All right, one more set of four bombs. What is this? Jingle Jangle the Run? Dang. We are flush right now. All right, we dug one giant hole for our Olmec. Gonna give him the old Dunkaroo. Onward, faithful steed. One more, bud. Just a little, little hop there. There you go. Lots of scarabs back here, too. Why not? All right, that scarab can live. Nice juke, bud. You earned it. The bow is with Waddler. Feels good. And we're off. Okay. I mean, for one bomb, sure. One bomb for one crate. Two crates, machete and parachute. Okay, joke's on me. Game gave me the old reversey on that one. Alright, it's gamble time. Boomerang on deck. Don't even get any cool casino tunes. It's so spoopy dark in here. All right, pace, big deal right there. Makes our on skip actually possible to do very easily. Boy, that's a good question, I know. Uh, I'm going to go science that for you when uh, I get out of here. Okay, so we got through. I know to ask if the clam can close its mouth now that it has the giant block inside. And I don't know the answer. I'm going to assume, yes, it can. Yes, and it takes the block with it. Wow. Now we know giant clams are to be feared and respected. Great question, I know. Thanks for asking that one. All right, what a level. We did it. All right. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Please don't. Please don't.
little curious of the shrine very top left here. There's an area behind the store and above, back and up from this that we were unable to see from the entrance. We're gonna find out, that's for sure. Okay, that's a claim. It's a claim. Oh my god, I don't want to be here right now. Excuse me. Uh huh, that's what I thought. This is a really dangerous segment. A lot of dailies end over these two spike pits, I guarantee it. in the water. Yep, in the drink. Alright, hump head over this way. Clone gun's right there. Good. At least one more Jang Shi, right? Yep, there, she, there it is. Alright, come on down to Evisceration Station, bud. Present has 12 bombs? Not bad! What's up, Bijo? Glad you could make it for the daily first look, dude. A nap. Do it for me, little J. Okay. There's the skip entrance. Good. Cleaning this up. Okay, cool. on the outside. Oh, yeah. The juice is loose. There's the door we're leaving from. Not like last daily where I left through the wrong door. That's the one right there. Hey, thanks for noticing, Northern Druid. It has been a pretty well-executed run so far, but... As we know in Spelunky, you're always only one mistake away from death. Yo, Seven Sin Pride, thanks for seven awesome years. Much appreciation. Glad you're continuing to enjoy. It means a lot. All right, sir, kneel down. Time to receive the highest honor a helping hand can receive anywhere in this world. I dub thee Sir Help. <laughs> 
He helped me once today. It was awesome. No more help is required. Thanks, greased up sweaty guy. You rock. Smiling Onyx Vortex. S-O-V. S-O-V. Smiling Onyx Vortex. That's the one. Excuse me? I'm actually going to check out this back layer because there's no time limit here. Now you're now you're not really a dead guy and you're underwater and you can't get out. Take that, dead guy. Freeze ray, okay. Freeze ray is an item that exists, for sure. Can be very useful sometimes. Here we go. Oh, wrong item in hand. That was almost uh, smooth. That was very hidden. Wouldn't have been a big deal, but I'd much prefer to keep the clone gun that I had the hand help me. Otherwise, she would have been chopped to pieces in vain. Okay, Waddler's here. Oh, right. Waddler is here then. I don't trust this. Yeah, let's uh, let's disarm that. A hey, flame of anore. Thanks for seven with Prime. Much appreciation. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider that. Here's. that sort itself out and go for a little joy right here just check it not even a real dead guy stop it go back to doing what you do being dead That's why you're here Okay, that made a big old gap. Woo! Jay with the save, my man. Way to keep the juice intact. What a game, Spelunky 2. What a game. All right, we got a single low bubble here, so I need to whip these down and then do a single back whip. Really? All right. Back whip. So they all land on the same tile. Interesting. You know what? I'll take it. It's still not a bad haul. What wonder what happened there.
Get me out of here. Yeah, there was something interesting about that stack of yetis. I think it's because I missed the initial whip. He was like offset. I'd believe it. Definitely a strange occurrence. Blunky 2 is full of those. Not this way, then. All right, SOV, simple onyx vortex. Simple onyx vortex is the urn we're looking for here. We'll double and then triple check that, I'm sure. Wow, okay, okay, hold on. Excusey. Excusey. Excusey me. Smiling Onyx Vortex. Smiling black urn with a swirl on it. There's all Onyx Vortex. Hold on. There's my triple check. Smiling. Not simple. Okay, smiling. There it is, right there. Smiling Onyx Vortex. That's the one. I'm gonna go back basically the way I came in. Keep it safe. Okay, I'll come back in a second then. Very good. Nice, easy urn room. Super easy. That's fine. At least we weren't wearing a jetpack. What? I disagree. I disagree. But that happened. I wonder if our urn is still on there or not. I looked at that and I thought for sure I was over far enough not to get squished. That's tough. A hand dead. GG. Congratulations, doubters. You did it. Well, some good info there. Uh, that really nice back layer uh, in 1 2 on that second drop down leading to Yang's Turkey Town and having the ton shop with the extra bombs. Black Market, pretty mediocre. I definitely recommend Volcana with the jump boot and climbing glove set. There is Paste in Madame Tuss. Easy Onk Skip as well. Well, there you have it. Out of the 164 players to go so far, that put us at 13. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Well, we're not quite done yet. No, sir. I think we'll uh, go into... Couple more runs of Nova Drift. No, uh, no darts though. This time, we're coming off of two very good runs of Nova Drift. Almost the top ten in our second best run ever. Feel like I'm playing okay today. Been feeling the urge to get back to 7.99. I'm have to do uh do that soon all right what's another idea i had hmm 
been going ham on darts over the past few days. What weapon haven't we used in a while that we like? How about instead of going into this from with a preconceived idea, we just make the best of it. Give me one sec, just unplugging here real quick. Here we go. Hardwire Dave suggests a possible no reroll run. Let's do that. All right, no reroll flack coming up. I want to go reflect shield here. This is where I take research and then I banish instead of reroll, right? Hey, Lightwalker, thanks for 80 months. 79 consecutive. Thank you so much, dude. All right, let's go for Firefly. Love Firefly. Drone specialist? I'm going, dude. Let's go. If I can get just a five drone limit defense drone going on, mm. sign me up. Okay, blast radius is awesome on flak because it gives each projectile a little explosive uh, circle, which looks cool and does cool damage to segmented enemies like this one. Look at that burn damage, though. Leave some for the gun, man. Let's pick up drones now. Since we had drone specialists, we're now at a five drone limit. Uh, reminder, I am playing on the beta branch or experimental branch. Here's the info. You just have to opt into it on Steam to get into it if you want to. Definitely experimental. Crashes and bugs could happen and other uh, issues. I say it's been overall pretty stable. Changing my title real quick. All right, we good now. Yo, Threads, thanks for 44 months. Enjoy that continued lurk. Anyways, on the experimental branch, one of the uh, main focuses of this next update is kind of a rework of the constructs being drones, turrets, allies, mines, etc. Go improve thrusters. There's pretty large improvements to all trees. One of the main changes, for me at least, is when you take drones, you get immediate access to the assault or defense tree. And if you're taking ally, you get access to the interceptor or guardian tree right away, which is pretty nice. All right, this is a tree I'm interested in because it goes to one that doubles our projectiles. How much velocity down do I get for this? So for this entire tree, it is 
35% projectile damage down and minus blast radius. But we get double projectiles. Huh. It's definitely good for some applications. Now that I'm actually thinking about that percentage though, maybe the double projectiles isn't as much of a damage up. Definitely would be with corrosion. I don't know if I'm getting that. Pretty much going to always be firing here. I'm going to take shield durability. I do have reflex shield, so it's already at what? 144? Hot dog. That's a big one. Okay, Revelation, the next recursive wild mob we take is taken two times, and at the end of that, we've basically gained a level for nothing. Hooray for scaling. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna take... well... Again, where there's a no reroll run. I was suggested I'm doing it. Assault drones is tempting. I think I'm gonna go for a shield cooldown though. Pretty confident in my ability to execute with just flak for a minute. It doesn't need a lot of mods to be able to clear the first waves. Okay, adaptive armor, I think so. Adaptive armor is something I've kind of gotten away from. I should probably get back into it. It's a really good defensive mod. i just been thinking about what I need to cut from builds to make them different or better, and that's what I kept cutting. Alright, what is this? Uh, self damage resistance, whole crash damage resistance. So for each evolutionary niche we took, that'd be one and a half percent self damage resist and a one and a half percent whole damage resist. Modifiers to thrust also affect thrusters' side. I wonder if the increase to body power is makes the thrusters burn for a hundred more for each take. I think it would. Your body gear's powers are improved by 10%. Would take this up to 1300. Let's go for it. I like, I like how it sounds. These gear powers definitely aren't bad. Self damage resist is a cool stat. Water time for me. Water is amazing. No, he has a downside of these evolutionary needs. We now have voids in the pool, too. That's tough. There's the defense drone I wanted. Say hey, deadly way feels like overkill on this. Let's just take rate of fire. If rate of fire is wrong, do I want to be right? Probably not.
Well, you know, with no rerolls, uh, banishing all this crap I don't want is awesome. The only thing I would actually want on this tree is kinetic boost for maybe potentially apotheosis. But, uh... Looks like a great winnow, even though we're not rerolling. Hey, glad to hear it, Wiz. Glad you've enjoyed it. Appreciate your company as always, dude. All right, I'm gonna go Arc Barrier. This is really good. Drones will protect you from enemy blast or burn damage. That's like the thermal lances you see on the Octo Pod dudes. And the blast damage of the Bulwark. that convinced that targeting's awesome for flak more so when you have the spread out shot right now i'm not so sure all right i'll take bravado here it's uh stats and body gears improved so we have 45 percent body gear improvement and that is on the base so it's not like it stacks on top of itself but still, 45 is a significant boost to uh, our self-damage resist and other stats. Okay, Counter Pulse is uh, way more damage than you'd, you'd think it is. Because it does a shockwave that can blast through multiple enemies or multiple segments. We do have to be pretty close for it to proc, though. All right, whole strength is stats. Hard to argue against magnitude. No downside, more damage. Counter pulse. All right, I'm going to take payload. I mean, it's going to be a damage up, takes our fire rate down, but. go high explosive next for uh, blast radius so I'm not going down the volley tree which is kind of my intention here but I never lose blast radius and I should be pretty effective at dealing uh, damage to segments charge shot after I get burst Almost re-rolled. Hey, Chad, thanks for 112 months. What a number. GG indeed. Thank you very much, Chad. Legendary support. I'll just take charge shot now. Not intending on using it most of the time, but sometimes. With some big explosions. Oh yeah, this is where it's at. Greetings, friend.
is styled upon. I'll take a targeting here. I am gonna take streamlining because it's gonna give us uh, a better a better lance, fire lance. <laughs> His little legs got roasted, that's tough. Liking this combo of charging up after, well, while you're um, charging up and then doing the, the thruster makes the downside to movement from charge shot kind of feel like a bonus. All right, here we go. 25% thrust. That's 25% larger uh, flame trail. Sign me up. Twenty-five percent construct maximum hole. It's got to be all right. There's not much upside outside of this tree. I kind of just want to take scorching wake, or your drones generate two percent of their maximum hole a second and give armor fragments. Let's try armor fragments, but not boost the HP of the drones. So they give me something, and then I make them again. May just end up sometimes I don't have many drones available, but that's that big of a deal. All right, here we go. High explosive. Now we can get a really big blast radius on this charge flak. Check it out. Look, that looked nice. I'm gonna take velocity. Velocity helps our projectiles travel further. Becomes nicer as the screen gets bigger. And that's inevitable if we do well. It's bigger and bigger and bigger. Everything is faster too. Dang. <laughs> Swing and a miss. You know a ship type I haven't tried in a really long time is Spectre. Should do that next. Alright, I'm gonna take channeling here. Oops, all dead. Thank you. 
Oh, we're almost there. Core's almost done. Nice. Oh, Burst Fire does make our charge shot a lot better. I can wait on core shielding. Yo, Lost Road. Thanks for 35. One more for three years. Sorry if I missed you earlier. It's not been my best day for notifications, but it's been an awesome stream, and I appreciate your all support very much. My bad on the humanitis. Got him. Oh, big miss. Snipe adds damage per projectile, so I just have to imagine it's good. Let's see how it can be wrong. Thirty-six projectiles right now. Blast damage goes a huge way on these guys. Gonna charge up a little bit, and then the universe is gonna knock them out for me. Cool. Let's get in there on those guys. Oh, let's grab core shielding now, sure. like the feel of this build. I don't think it's going to be like my best run ever, but it's a fun one. Drones give like just enough room that you can get uh, some nice charge shots off here. Actually never done flak without taking any more projectiles, but after reading the tooltips, you do lose a lot for getting these projectiles. You get 20% blast radius and projectile damage here and size and velocity. And then at the end of the tree, you lose an additional 15 blast radius projectile damage. It's a lot. Do I care about shield effect radius? That's pretty good. Weaponized shields could be a nice damage escalator. Feeling flexible enough to probably take Juggernaut too. What is my health and shields right now? 20% of 126. Yeah, it's going to take me above my shields. Okay, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to conversion my shields into my hole. Okay, not quite. I was wrong. We are just barely below on hole. That's fine. Still a nice stat increase, and our mobility level is <laughs> really good for having Juggernaut. Here's the weakness of the build right here. 
screen clear. Just tried to blink, don't have that skill though. Not bad, not bad. You get spoiled playing with those high dart builds and other stuff. This build is defensively very solid. We have a lot of stat to work with. Okay, your weapon behaves as though your projectile count is 1. Your projectile count beyond 1 is fused into your single projectile. Up to 25 projectiles can be fused. I have 12 projectiles right now. What I'm like and liking thinking about this is a charged up singular strike should have a very large blast radius. I'm going to try it. I want to see the blast radius on this. <laughs> okay. There's blast radius. More than a little bit. Oh, wow, look at the counter pulse. This is also blast radius. That's what it is. I get it now. I don't think it's better than what I had, but there's a build here. Absolutely. Let's go for uh, blast damage minus blast radius. I feel like our blast radius is out of control right now. Oh, incendiary is really good with the blast damage too. Let's take this instead. Because that blast damage counts as weapon damage, so they get anything that gets hit by the splash. It's good. I think this without burst fire could actually be very nice too, just keeping the single shot. I also wonder if adding in like a uh, volley is worth it now. This is Singular Strike Flak, exactly, Destrina. Uh, go, Weapon Mastery. Also, importantly, no volley taken for reduced blast radius, so we kept all of our blast radius intact on this run.
I, I gotta load mines here just to see what it looks like. I gotta see it. Yeah, that's fair, Trav Town. Blast radius is no joke, especially on railgun. The railgun uh, blast radius can be super extreme. I'm trying to think what other weapon types other than railgun could work well with this blast radius. You know, um, split shot does okay though i think split shot singular strikes pretty bad loaded mines time Let's see it okay want to see it hit something though okay, loaded mines were not cool Getting overwhelmed by this wave. Uh oh. Spaghettis. Yeah, grenades is too flashy for me. This runs this run's actually pushing the limit for what I like as far as flash stuff. And that's my own fault, because I took all of the blast radius and this is flak, which has its own cool animation. <laughs> I can't do it. This build's too flashy for me, man. Too much. Okay, that was fun though. We learned that singular psych flat can actually be a thing. I'm gonna look at the learn page real quick or the unlocks page real quick. I want to see other blast radius stuff we got. Anything else blast radius in the super mods? Hey, vile guy, good to see you, man. Glad you could stop by for our all day Sunday stream. So I haven't done a real run with the magnitude infuse here. Ooh, what if I did a Spectre railgun infuse? So infuse the railgun with the power of the shield on Spectre, which gains up to 250% damage. Where is this bad boy down here? Magnitude, and what's the other one for Infused? Discharge. All right, I got a wise idea. I got to refill my water before we do it. Uh, one of my first runs that went over 2 million was Salvo Spectre Loaded Mines. Let's try a Railgun Spectre with Charge Loaded Mines as well. I think this one will be interesting. So the goal here, I want to try the Infuse uh, new super mod, which lets us infuse 8% of our shield total into the weapon, and it releases it when it hits the enemy. The goal being to fire when we're fully cloaked most of the time and let our other stuff like mines and drones pick up the slack. Be right back for this idea of a run.
All right, we back. Wow, Vile Guy, you read my mind on the assault drones for vulnerability. I also think assault drones are just much better at keeping the screen cleared on smaller enemies. Let's see how this goes. Certainly is a starting wave. All right, here's rail. I believe that amp shield's probably correct. I could do something else though. Shockwave's nice on Spectre because it pushes stuff away from you. Might end up dropping my shields too, but probably not. Let's go ahead and take amp. The increased thrust is very nice. All right, body specter. You cloak over time, becoming invisible to enemies when fully cloaked. You gain up to 250% total weapon damage when you fire based on how cloaked you are. Firing your weapon or moving quickly causes you to rapidly decloak. You will decloak instantly when you deploy a construct or use an active mobility power. Aha! You will decloak instantly when you deploy a construct or use an active mobility power. So that's blink, strafe, or constructs. Maybe this isn't uh, as cool as I thought it was going to be. Would Strafe Shot work with Spectre? I bet Strafe Shot... You have to use Strafe to activate it, so you would, you would break your cloak upon using Strafe. That's right, you used to not decloak when strafing or blinking, for that matter, so that's definitely different. This idea is kind of busted already. All right, I got another idea I want to do. We'll start over. We're going to do Scrubbing Bubbles the Build. In this experimental branch, and I imagine this at least will remain the same, the carrier ship used to have minus 10% fire rate and now has plus 10% shields. I'm going to keep this on Flak. Flak is easy to manage a build with. Okay, bubbles. Oh, I got you, Vaga. That's a great call that it fires the same time you um, strafe. Good thought. Thank you for clarifying that. We're on the same page now. Very reasonably also taking drones here. Let's go ahead and just grab the whole strength at this moment. Gonna be passing the shield onto the drone, so that's gonna be happening. Not sure how much I actually want to invest into my own weapon. Go shield durability. Not going to be converting on this one. Just 
Let's just take elegant construction. It's a good idea. Very likely regeneration is the route here, but I don't really want to open this pool yet. Don't really have the rerolls to spend. Let's just take adaptive armor here. Tank it up. We'll take thrusters. Carrier's big weakness is the low starting thrust. Everything else is pretty good. Get the little fellers, get plus 10% shields. Nice hole. We'll pass the shields as soon as we see it, but there's no big rush. The more leveled we are, the more little fellers we make, which is a higher chance for the elite version of them, which can actually hold our shield. Right now, we might have one or two. Later game, we might have like seven or eight. All right, I'm going to take Streamline here. Even though we're going to be passing on our shield, the ability to move is so important. Still no shielded. I'll take blast radius. It's a good idea. Yep, having a, a low thrust ship will get you every time eventually as things speed up. I've definitely had the most success with uh, very mobile vessels. Does leave a much smaller <laughs> margin for air, though. All right, let's take these orbs. It's actually a really nice source of damage for us. Can't be very nice defensively, too, just to uh, zone things off you. The Discord Ors would be something that would scale off the blast damage uh, build we were doing earlier. They do have a blast radius. Let's go ahead and say we're taking Blink. Very likely also going to take Strafe here. Oh, Got to make it that far. This build has a long way to go. Dude. Yoinks, but doinks. Scary waves. Shielded drones. Here we go. Are right, we just got one scrubbing bubbles right now? There will be more. Hey, okay, revelation. Let's go.
Not bad, not bad. Excuse me, coming through, excuse me. Oh man. Well, I don't want to die. I guess it depends if uh, you come out of cloak when you use stabilization or not, Vio Guy. If you can stabilize, then low friction would be great because you'd have more time to adjust where you were standing while you cloak. I don't know, though. The way I read that, I think stabilization also breaks cloak now. It's just tough. Maybe it doesn't break cloak all the way. Maybe it's just like a, a flicker. Curious now. Let's roll here. I need I need something now. Let's take regeneration just so I can not outright die here. All the scrubbing bubbles get to work. Kind of have to go for charge shot. And focus shields. That's the one. I'm not going to turn down rate of fire right now. I feel pretty weak. You know what? Three times Galvanic Outburst? Yes. Yes, I will. That's a thing that's happening. Give him the sizzle, little guys. Scrubbing bubbles now with electricity. Yo, Batter K, thanks for 27 months. What a day for some drifting, indeed. read this discord orb here or is the discord orbit you erratically and lash out at nearby enemies dealing blast damage on hit so I kind of want the other side of this tree We do need shield effect radius if we're going to make it eventually into uh, the shield charge super mod. I'm going to take an absorption here. Got to Got to take care of myself too. Jeez, use my guy's little shield there. Sorry about that, buds. Thanks for being cool bubble fellows. Thanks. Yeah, looking cool is probably this build's best feature, Synth. It's probably true. Let's get some Assault Drones going. I need, like, a secondary source of damage. This looks awesome and feels kind of weak at the moment. Also, that'd be double the scrubbing bubbles. I 
Take Concentrated Blast. I'll tab over to the, uh... I don't have defense drones yet. Oh, reflexive shield is the Omni shield. I'm not going Omni shield here. Uh uh. Uh uh. Soul drones, let's go. Let's let him go pursuit. Watch out for the bubble army. They look cute, but they're serious. Shield cooldown is definitely valuable. I'm gonna take channeling though. Alright, Magnitude's on the way to where we're going, and it's more damage right now. Okay, makes sense, uh, Bioguy. Bioguy clarifies that stabilization does not disrupt Cloak. Just, like, tapping thrust doesn't really either. Got it. Okay, then I would say less friction would be very valuable, uh, Spectre. I know plus thrust is, because the more thrust you have, the more you can move around while staying in that kind of semi- or mostly cloak state. Remember that much. Eh. Like super stoked on anything here, but I guess burst fire does work with charge quite nicely. Just overall damage up right now too. Look at that loot though. Excuse me, how many segments? I'll be over here, thanks. Well, reflexive shields are definitely good because that's going to shoot damage back at people that hit the shields as well. That's all good. Uh, the bubbles grow when you take damage on the shield based on the amount of damage and how quickly you take it, and that's amplified by shield effect power. The great thing about the orbs is they can degenerate enemy projectiles. We kind of have like a bubble force field when stuff's in between us and the enemy. I do need to make it to Fleet Commander. I think this is the best way to get there. So I don't see myself using the Battalion Formation. Hmm. 
Hmm. This build's very tough with Halo's shield because Halo's shield drains shield when it does damage, so the shield's almost always down. You know, I might use Battalion. I might. Charge shot for now. Works relatively well with uh, Siphon Shield, though. Hmm. I'm going to reroll. Take Rupture. Yeah, a build that auto pops the Halo shields is not like um, bad or anything. Definitely not bad. Get some Tempest Break volatile shields going on in there. It's a big pop. Big bada boom. Less inclined to take Warpath right now. Okay, let's take Battalion. Okay, so we have segmented enemies. I can pull them back like this. And I can release them back there. The toggle between Pursuit, Battalion, and Regular Formation. Okay. Maybe I'll keep half the bubbles with me. And half the bubbles can roam. <laughs> Ship looks really cool with the orbs floating around like that, too. An impenetrable fortress of bubbles. You know, until they make it in, though. Till day. Let's try this. Ooh, awful close to that mine. And I think getting a corrosion could be okay. I'm not sure how effective corrosion actually is here. We're firing 36 projectiles. Not nothing. I think just for clearing segmented enemies, we probably want to get to Corrosion. Force armor sounds awesome right now, though. I like the look of this the best. I don't think it's the best formation for him, but... the level of safety for my ships probably a lot better when they're in this formation around me. It's kind of like a mix of assault and defense drones in a way. Definitely think a hyper metabolism could be awesome here. Let's go core shielding though.
Watch out, we sizzling. Fleet Commander, here we go. More drones. Five is going to be a very cool looking number for this build. Better than four for the rotation effect, I think. Oh, yeah. Now we're thinking with bubbles. Twenty swarm limit, damn. How does swarm limit scale? Four plus one for every two of your levels, okay. So for every 10 levels, you get five more constructs. That's cool. Go back out there, assault drones. Back into the fray. I don't know. I don't think it makes sense to have them all clustered up. What if we keep them like this? No. I would take this, but maybe as a multiplier. Get it for as a three times or even four times. Shield cooldown sounds good. This is the one. Knock, knock. Oh, that was sweet. Just a little bit of damage, scrubbing bubbles. Just a little bit. Well, that seems to take it for boss fights. For boss fights, I'm going to go ahead and go on pursuit. And then when for regular waves, I'll be in this regular formation. Definitely don't want Apex Machinery, that'd be very bad here. Let's try to get Corrosion going. I think it's going to be the thing that might stabilize our offense, at least for the moment.
Love erasing stuff with the bubbles. What a satisfying build. Focus shields would actually be a huge power level increase here, and then it would put the super mod, let's shoot for that. Then we can increase our shield effect power by charging our weapon, which should look really cool. If we ever get there. Uh, let's go ahead and take barrier, maybe. No, not barrier. I'm rolling again. Watch me. No targeting yet. War pass. All right. Let's take targeting. Not going to hurt. Yeah, global damage is everything that's associated with your ship. Drones included. I guess this makes us slightly more mobile. I just don't want to use any more rerolls right now. Damage is pretty decent. Hidden power removes constructs, so this would not be a hidden power build. Hidden power is usually discharge and shield or some combination. You can still discharge under hidden power. All right, I'm gonna take the corrosion. This will reduce our weapon damage just a little bit. We're applying corrosive stacks and, well, segmented enemies suffer greatly from this. Hello, bud. Greetings. Yep, crash builds, firefly builds, more stuff for hidden power. There you go.
Man, I'm getting mesmerized by this, but I'm probably gonna get distracted and die is what's gonna happen. Stop being so cool looking, little guys. Stop it. Phantom strikes and I could bump into people and do the empowered charged attack. You know what? I'm going to take Phantom Strike. Oops. I was trying to bump bump, but it didn't work. Well, I don't want to die here. Unless... Not dead. So if I have the charge shot charged up and then I bump into the enemy, that should do an empowered attack. The kind of problem is that I don't want to bump into enemies. It'll just happen. And the teleporting effect may mess me up a little bit. Guess we're going to find out live. There we go. That's that's it. That's what we wanted. Okay, Phantom Strike's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Weapon mastery is not wrong. Great. Really lucky this came back in time for this wave. Quite enough regeneration to pull that off. 
Dang. You know, let's just splash some mines in here. Sure. You bet. Far enough along, we'll get built pretty quick with the uh, elegant construction. I got that in before he swap no okay, blink phantom strikes pretty ridiculous seems decent on this guy anyways fun. Uh, still in the game, spell backwards. You can see everything in the game from the unlocks page on the main menu as well. I don't believe there's any, any changes to rarity to Solar Heart or anything. Definitely still a mod. Oh, snap. Well, I got out of control there. That will happen. That will happen indeed. Had this run today. This one was fun. Seven <laughs> evolutionary niche architect mind dart. And one that was like number 11 or 12. Well, everybody, that is going to conclude our show today. Thank you for the awesome all day Sunday stream. I really enjoyed it. Had a great time with FTL, a Spelunky, Nova Drift. It was awesome. Really excellent runs of FTL. Very challenging. Blunky 2 daily got me again. And that number 2 score on Nova Drift. Hell yeah. Well, we'll do it again soon. Uh, Discord for updates as always. Thanks everybody for an amazing show. Look forward to doing it again already. We'll catch you on the flip side. Have a great one. Ty McCullough, thanks for 11 months. We're signing off here. Thanks for lurking. Wizmander, Lunar Base, Beef Jerky, Yum Spell, Backwards, Nad Captain, Dukowski, Kassara. Have a nice one. Vile Guy, Wolf, Bond Shizzle, Robtown, and all the rest. Appreciate y'all. Catch you soon.